Warning. The following show is likely to switch topics faster than a Kardashian switches NBA players in bed. Caution is advised. We surveyed 100 people. Actually, no, just some dudes off the street about JB. And here are the top answers. Number one, JB, I love JB. Uh, did I say that right? Do I still get my Chick-fil-A gift card? Number two, who? Number three, I know JB. He don't know sh- And now he's got a f- podcast? <laughs> Is what the hell do I know with JB? JB, your friendly late stage midlife husband, dad, and self diagnosed ADHD connoisseur. This is all about candid conversation with friends, colleagues, and professionals, unpacking life's lessons and having a damn fun time doing it. And hey, sometimes we're going to veer off topic. But isn't that what makes life interesting? Let's talk about taking the good parts and leaving the bad. Because life's too short for unnecessary baggage. This is What the Hell Do I Know with JB. And now your host, Jason Becker. All right, all right, all right. We are back again, man. I'm so excited. We say it each time how how um, we appreciate every one of our listeners, but it, we really do. I mean, I think we're yeah. over 11,000, maybe even 11,500 subscribers on YouTube right I can't now. count that. It right. continues to amaze right. me that anybody <laughs> listens to these uh, jabronis, you know. I mean, we've got thousands and thousands of audio downloads now, so it's, it's uh, unbelievable. You know, and I know um, I did this pod, you know, for my three kids. Uh, is why I did it. But the fact that anybody else gets anything out of this $10 podcast, I don't know yeah. how. And it, means, it really means something. So I appreciate it when you when you let us know and, and you tell us what's going on. Um, but I would encourage you while you're listening to these podcasts to ask yourself, ask yourself if how anything we say, how, how does anything we say or lessons we're, that we're shared or you pick up, how could it impact you as a father as a mother, as a brother, as a sister, as a daughter, or uh, or even a friend or a son. So, because um, I think sometimes we say something that can be universally important to any stage or age That's you right. are in life. So oh, I think yeah. it's important. Right. And man, I also have to say this morning, I just was like in bed, had a great Saturday. Uh, the dogs, you know, came back from their loss and and uh, from Alabama. We struggled with that Alabama teams, but I think Alabama struggled but, uh, a little bit but they did, too. they did. And so it's kind of like a full circle, encompassing great day. You know, seeing Alabama lose, Georgia win, Auburn lose, then Tennessee. You know, uh, I think with Tennessee lost too, right? They did SEC. Yeah, it was so weird. It was a weird, weird, shake weird Saturday. Week. So anytime like airs, Auburn, Alabama, and yeah. Tennessee can lose all in you know the same day. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Colin Sanders, Arkansas. Arkansas really Razorback. Yeah, the boy, Arkansas yeah. Razor. Shout out. Yeah, Colin, our boy Colin. Optimal, optimal human. human. Yeah, that's right. right. That's right. Uh, so, you know, um, but I was I was laying in bed. And I was like, I don't know if I'm really game and ready to go on this pod. You know, I had everything ready and prepared. But I just, I don't know. I feel like maybe I was too excited yesterday. The adrenaline <laughs> I'm was, had, yeah. had run through my veins. <laughs> but then you guys showed up. And Dude, so I have, to, I have to thank you guys for it's being on. such great friends. Because I saw y'all and you yeah. come in and you're excited. And so I'm like, man. Brandon changed Ready three go, outfits. Ready, go, I brought Ready, go, I brought my yeah. whole wardrobe. Ready, go, like babe. four shirts. So, so, yeah, you know, I've got Juice. i got B-Money. And then our guest today is Chef Fleetwood Covington yeah. the Third. Yeah. Glad to be here. Which, by the way, I feel like with your name, we ought to be on a yacht somewhere. Eating <laughs> 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 filet. Having this, having this pod yeah, on a yacht yeah. somewhere. <laughs> it feels that way. <laughs> but we're going to dive into that. Before that, we've got our drink of the day is from... Cigars, yeah. my favorite Freaking restaurants awesome. <laughs> at Triple A, uh, yeah. Triple A four star restaurant, yep. correct? Yep. And this is from them. This is my adaptation of their new Fall Fizz. So go to Cigars uh, or mm. Cigars. You say you pronounce it Cigars, right? Still like Cigars, Cigars. Yeah. cigars, yeah. yeah. And and we we're just talking about that, but um, we're, we're going to dive into all that. But yes, this is their uh, Fall it's Fizz. God, it's man, it's amazing. Wow. Had to make so my good. own dram, my all spice dram. I could not find it anywhere, but I made my all spice. And it is. It's good. That is so good. Isn't that good? It's great. It, just, yeah. it reminds you of football. It is I mean, fall. It's, it, it's, a, fall it's a fall drink. drink. It's yep. so good. Um, but again, as always, drink only if you are 21 and older and drink responsibly. So absolutely. And um, I'm ready for it to cool. And I do want to spotlight yeah. cigars. I mean, uh, 
Uh, cigars, you you are the executive chef there. Yeah. Uh, chef Fleetwood yeah. is the executive chef at Cigars, which is is right here in our hometown and the base of the Hilton uh, in Sandestin. It's, it's the best Can't restaurant in the best. The best, mm-hmm. the the best, the best. restaurant yeah, appreciate that. in, in no. the Emerald Coast for <laughs> sure. Is. But I think you're in like the top 10 steak restaurants in Florida it's all the time. Be. Something Always like considered that, yeah. like top ten all the time. Yeah. Uh, I think I looked it up. Yeah, so USA Today. Well, yeah, yeah, I mean it's it's always ranked really high yeah. in Florida, but. Um, Cigars was founded in 1998. Cigars Prime Steak and Seafood is renowned New York style steakhouse and one of the finest dining destinations along Florida's Gulf Coast. Located in South Walton near Destin, extolled for an award winning 600 label wine list, original fresh seafood dishes, and the finest aged prime USDA steaks. Cigars is a salute to the good life. Intimate, indulgent, unhurried, and a dining experience in Cigars is unlike any other whether the occasion is a private event corporate reception or a quiet evening for two the cigars team will cater to each individual experience with an unparalleled service yeah, that's, like, that's strong that's strong yeah, strong that was an ai right <laughs> somebody wrote that right shout out to the marketing team is cigars right. yeah. yeah i mean man it's, it is just such a great place and we got a chance to eat there friday night mm-hmm. and my wife and i because we, we'll do it just the two of us i mean i love to take that place I've, I've had fours i've had six tops i've had eight tops i've rented out the side you room did my son's 16th birthday there yeah. dang um um, I Ballin. mean, cigars has been a part of our life for the last, I mean, honestly, probably the last, since, I mean, not quite 1998, but a long yeah. time. Mm-hmm. And for many special events and special occasions, we we're just talking, I was at the Destin Wine uh, Charity Auction. Yeah. We'll have to put some photos of you yeah. doing the, I mean, he did this dessert that uh, with dessert, with yeah. with a local oh, artist here, Jeffrey Ga- Je- Justin. 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 Yeah. Justin. Yeah. 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 Oh, no and, yeah. and Oh, the, the, they did this, I mean, it was... It's hard. It was like this gastronomy. Yeah. Uh, Molecular. It was insane. Yes. I mean, you had the gases, you had your yep. paint on the table. Yep. I mean, it was, yep. it was what a cool, what made you think of that, by the way? I, I for us, like I, being a steakhouse, it's super, it's easy to, cause it's a linear expectation with a themed restaurant like that or a con- mm-hmm. con- New York style steak concept restaurant. And so for us to, um, like the food world, like just just take it internationally is so, it's got so it's saturated with such genius chefs around mm-hmm. the world. Right? Sure, yeah, and so like I've had the good fortune to, you know, latch on to some really good chefs, like a couple that I've I've mentioned in in, in other interviews. Grant Ackett's uh, from Alenia in Chicago. Um, Thomas Keller's got um, two restaurants that I've been to. Uh, French Laundry, French Al- Laundry, yeah. yeah, French Laundry, yeah. yeah, per se in New York when we okay. did food and wine last year. We got nice. to go there, yeah, and so you know. These guys, they think differently. They yeah. they don't they think like the food has already got to be flawless, right? Right, right. So they're spe- they're thinking about guest experiences, um, and then how can we convey a story, a narrative, into an experience that you will take home with you, right? Um, and so this kind of gets to the foundation of how I think in in terms of when we you know come up with stuff like that. And I was, it was like 2005, and we were on. A, I was on a Delta flight, and you remember the Sky Mall magazine? Oh yeah, yeah, right, right. yeah. Sure. Oh, yeah. So you they're know, not there anymore. No, no, right. no, no. And right. so you flip through them, and you see like steakhouse after steakhouse after steakhouse, right. and it's very cookie cutter in that way, right? It is. And so, and coming up through the ranks in that kitchen, and finally becoming the executive chef, like you got to figure out and you know it's it's a fight to stay relevant it's a fight to stay progressive in your cuisine it's a fight to stay you know in 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 the creative hot seat or the benchmark yeah. of where i think a lot of people will look to um and you, with that all in mind you've got to say well how do we redefine how people experience food uh. you know like for us anybody can go anywhere and get a really great steak whether you know atlanta a lot of our patrons are really well traveled so but what makes us different and then you know i was a big jackson pollock fan growing up right yes yeah, loved yes, it. loved it yes, yes loved it and so when i came down when i moved to florida i saw justin gaffrey and i was like mm-hmm. oh i like that i really love yeah. that because you were you were saying earlier before we started art will speak to you or yeah it won't. It, or it won't one or, two. or it's it won't so subjective right it is mm-hmm. and so then it's like okay well how do we 
how do I hide something? Because we've done that dessert that's not just for like a big charity. And mm -hmm. sometimes we'll hide the, the rubber mat, the white rubber mat okay. underneath linen. So people have no idea what's about to happen, right? Mm -hmm. oh, and so it's to breach cool. their expectations of what they think is going to happen. And then when the captains will roll the linen up and we come out and start painting, you know, on the table. It's. I think it's like that moment where they're like, what is happening? And What's then, going on? And then they just put a spoon down. There's no plates. And then they start eating off the table. And it's like that for us as chefs is like that's that is a metric in which that's how i want to create to get that reaction you right. should have seen you. this what they did there it just mesmerized the entire uh, uh restaurant i yeah. mean every patron yeah. we just stop and you, you it was quite the show as they're creating our dessert in yep. front of us yep and it was amazing, not to That's mention cool. very good to eat. I'm sure. <laughs> well, and see, Justin's like, he's big with the acrylics, right? And so they're, you know, yep. the, the type of medium he uses. Yeah. And so I got with Justin. I said, hey, man, um, how do we make how do we make your paint but into food to where people can eat it because that's because cool. that's how i think right right because it was kind of a thicker chocolate and, well yeah. so we did swiss meringue and uh, you go through a different levels of stabilizers and you know whipping it for a longer time will make it thicker and then i had him come to the restaurant i was like does that feel like your paint no does that feel like your paint and there was a time where it clicked when he did that first flower and i'm like yeah that's, that's your it. paint yeah, that's, that's your it. paint now. that's it and so just we're like, an okay, edible let's, version let's yeah. That, yeah this, this art's pretty <laughs> dope dude though? Huh? To be able to do that, that's got to be really fun. It is. And it, it is because I think, you know, I, you get to a point where as creatives, like we think and we go through so many ideas and drafts of ideas. Mm -hmm. And then when we when I reached out to him initially, we did that a year prior. Mm -hmm. Right. And I was happy with it, but I wasn't happy with it. Mm -hmm. And because. You know, it, it, there was always still trying to reach for that next level. You can't ever really let go of a concept yeah. until I think like that's what we needed to do. Right. And so I reached out to him the next year when we got the honorary and he came in and 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 when he we started to work with it, you know, you step away from it. And you're like, yep, that's 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 what we were going for all along. But to co collaborate like in a simultaneous manner where you're forced to be organic, right? Mm -hmm. You can't prescript. None of that was prescripted. Like I was right. like, these are the colors. This is what I think you're going to do. And I kind of, I let him kind of be, you know, the one that did the majority of it, right? Because I can come back with spoon work and filtering because I don't want to like, right. his art is great, right? And I didn't want to yeah. mess that up. So it's a balance of kind of give and take creatively. But, but, yeah, yeah, right. yeah. but it was awesome. Yeah. It was, awesome. It, was it, it was a, it was a stunner <laughs> for sure. And you talk it, it, briefly, you mentioned that you got the honorary. Yeah. What, tell us a little bit about what honorary are you talking about? Uh, so the Destin Cherry Wine au uh, Auction uh, nominates an honorary chef every year. And right. that's, that's based off of, you know, philanthropy and, you know, the cause and involvement. And uh, they I was in Dallas doing an event um, with This is South Walton. And I got, you know, it's again, you know, I, I came from South Carolina and, you know, every year you go to grand boulevard and you see this white tent that they throw up massive like, what is it's that? it's one of the top five like wine in charity the world, auctions in, in, in the united in, states in the united right. states for yeah, sure yeah it's massive it's, it's massive Matt kara knows all the specs it's, but i definitely want to like it's it's massive <laughs> I, I wouldn't want to say right. what it is I, I, I could say it might even be top three i think it's, i know it's top five i know for sure. it's top five yeah. I mean, that's huge wine auction. It is. It is. In the country. And, it, they, they, and they do, like, incredible work. Uh, Joan and Stephen Oh, the Carter. children's events and what they're oh, doing. is all for the kids. It's mm -hmm. great. And, it's, and so, like, I got involved because the, uh, Joan and Stephen Carter are, like, really good patrons of the restaurant. And, great. you know, like, when I first took over, I, I, I really didn't know a lot of the A-list patrons, right? And, sure. And so they were always really sweet and very, like, accommodating. And I, they do Ventner dinners there every April. And it was my first Ventner dinner with her and... You know, I was always like, yes, you know, I came in and really like <laughs> meek. I was like, is this okay? And then and she was like, no, just she gave me the creative freedom to just run. Oh, and so, so cool. after, you know, a couple years of that, um, I was in Dallas and pulled out my email just checking to see if because my food didn't arrive. And uh, I got an email from Kara and it said that, you know, chef, we nominated you to be the honorary chef. Which is quite an honor, by That's the way, because you're you're That's you're great. you're running the Friday night dinners for for a whole event. One, I mean, they do a lot of events, but yep. you're doing a whole event at yep. CR for yep. Friday night, yep. and then you're doing um, you, uh, you've got some stuff going on as well at the tent. Yeah, well, well so, so the April stuff we've got, I believe, I think it's the Thursday night, Thursday or Friday, 
<laughs> that weekend is a blur because there's so much prep involved with it. I don't but, know how you guys are still walking by the time the festival is, yeah, yeah, and no the auction kidding, comes dude. around. <laughs> it's insane. And then it's and it seems like the auction ends and it's back in April again. Right. It's starting again. But Friday night or Thursday night, typically the Vintner dinner. Um, and then the auction week in April, you know, we've got to do, I think, it, no, it is a, it's the Friday night. And then the, the tent is Saturday, which... You know, you've got to do an all-day thing. Uh, yeah. It starts at 12. I think call times at like 1, 1 30, goes till 3. And then because, you know, we were got the nomination, then we go in and sit in the auction. And yep. then it's just kind of – you can just kind of sit back and observe it. But, yeah, it's, it's – Well, and you also are best – is it best chef or best restaurant? I think it's best chef in the Emerald Coast magazine yeah. here well, recently. We tied – we, we, we tied – Did they tie – there is a couple. But all I've got to say is they chose to put you on the cover, which, by the way, <laughs> badass <laughs> cover, too. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that well, cover is sick. So the thing is, is so – and that, I didn't even expect that, right? It's a good-looking cover, yeah. man. It's and sick. It's aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I wanted some steak, baby. <laughs> it's okay. and, I, and I told – I looked at Maggie, which is our – uh, marketing director and I was like thank god and Halloween's right around the corner <laughs> <laughs> but yeah we tied with uh, Mero um, Mero Private Chef and M&P I believe it was yeah I think that's right yeah, that's right. yeah, yeah, yeah. both great guys sure um, I heard great things about both of them we right. have some great chefs in the area oh, for yeah. sure yeah. I yeah. mean for sure they, yeah. you know I, we Danielle and I have our restaurants that we know because if you're local to here yeah. uh, you know the ones you, you want to go back to and the ones you want to repeat mm-hmm. and you know the ones that, that everybody else goes to Sure. You know, so, sure. so although cigars is again on everybody's list, it's all, you know we if we, I want to book a time, especially in high season, Danielle's really good about it. They know most people know this about Danielle. She'll go on starting in like April, and she'll book out through the summer all yeah. of our reservations. Yeah, That's right. just so because it's, it's it's you can't get the times you want if you don't no. get in there early enough. Mm-hmm. You guys are always booked, especially in summer. Yeah. It's, it's, oh, wild. it's it's so it's wild. so crazy. But yeah. but y'all, y'all do such a great job. Yeah, thank you. And um, thank it's you, amazing. Man. Again, uh, Chef Fleetwood Covington the Third, Triple A Four Four Diamond Steakhouse Cigars. Yeah. I mean, what's next for cigars? I mean, is, are you going to go James Beard? You, get, you I mean, is there? Is there something on the list for something even yeah, even there is. higher? Yeah, and because as chefs, I mean, it's, you always want to keep pushing, right? That's right. You know, if you don't have never done to push for creatively and yeah. awards, and oh, I think awards are um, they're a metric of, of 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 how people you know accept what we do, right? Sure. You know, Michelin, you know, yeah. the one star Michelin, two star Michelin, three star Michelin. There's a level of uh, acceptance of what you're doing on a level that they judge of. Sure. Right? And sure. so, um, yeah, I mean, I, there's, there was, there's been some very loose talks about going to cook for James Beard. Yeah. You know? That'd be interesting. That, I, I mean, listen, I think you're, I feel, cause it's interesting. You said something about cookie cutters. Cause we, you know, I'm from Atlanta mm-hmm. bones, great place. Yep. Kevin Rathman's great mm-hmm. place. I mean, great stuff. And, and Rathman's I'm, I would actually put on a different level than bones even, but, sure. but for bones is really good. What they do is amazing. Yeah. But, um, they ain't got your cream corn. (laughs) 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 Chops is good too. Yeah. But you know, it's still not the same. I mean, it's, it's, uh, there is something about cigars where you can step into it and you could feel like, okay, you know, is this a regular steakhouse? But it's just not the local flair to it is so amazing. And I, to me, it starts with your people though. I mean, your food is great, Yeah. but you know, I've got, I actually have a, I don't use it as much, but I have a note in my phone that has cigars on it and it has everybody's names. Yeah. My phone sit over there. I'd grab it, but it, it has everybody's names and then something that I can recognize on like Chase, yeah, yep. you know, Paul, yep. Beard. Paul, yep. Yeah, and I yep. would I would have and now I know who they are, yep, right? Yeah. But I would have all their names because they would know me. Yeah. When I would come yep. in, which I think is amazing. They would know me. They would know the wine I drank the last time. They yep. would know what I typically like to eat. Right. Um, I, I showed up there one time and yep. we had talked about maybe two months prior mm. a certain wine. Details. We showed up to dinner, and at the table, as they brought us the table, that bottle of wine they had held one for me and had it on yep. the table yep. nice. for yeah. us. That yeah. bottle of wine. It's the customer service. It's, it's insane. Yep. Y'all it's from absolutely insane. Indianapolis know St. Elmo's. It's really great, great steakhouse. They also for y'all like, coming down that, that, that sauce, too. Uh, yeah, the sauce is good. <laughs> 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 talk to Jeff about the sauce. <laughs> Cocktail sauce. But St. Elmo's is so – but – Imagine St. Elmo's with the best customer service, like Disney World meets <laughs> meets the best. Yeah, and, and seafood. So that oh, that's well, that's, that's, that's the thing you, you forget get about. In Atlanta, it, you don't get in Chicago. Yeah, you it's the seafood down here too. Yeah, yeah. there's crab legs. 
Great. <laughs> there ain't better crab legs oh, on the Emerald right. Coast. Great. There ain't better crab legs. The only other place I think could maybe maybe get close to Seagars was we, when we went on vacation to Alani that place in Hawaii. In Hawaii is That's pretty the good. only other spot the only that, <laughs> that I, and I just think it's because they're closer to, to Alaska. Every week. I mean, yeah, right. <laughs> they're closer to Alaska. And, and I'm not sure they're on the same plane. Yeah. <laughs> That's how how yeah. good it is. Well, listen, I want to get the section though of new news. Anybody got any new news they want to share before we continue this deep dive? We got we got kind of a pretty deep dive there but we're going to keep diving but any new news okay. new news you know me i'm not not a big football guy i'm in sec country i'm a dog oh baby all the <laughs> way to the bone <laughs> but i'm an alma mater of indiana university six, six and oh, and oh. i know this is going to show a little, oh, bit, a little bit but we're bowl eligible first team First in the NCAA country to be bowl country eligible. To be bold eligible. Congrats, Indiana, Eddie, I know. which he probably yeah, will go to florida yeah, please I don't leave the congratulations big, anyway yeah. <laughs> That's my new news. I mean, I got a bowl eligible crazy. team in October. Wait, who'd they beat yesterday? I didn't uh, even see them. Uh, Northwestern, Northwestern. 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 On a soccer field. On a soccer field. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll play anywhere. I missed the score on that one. I think uh, 43 to 23. Okay. Like domination. Enough, he, domination. He, show, he shows up at the house. His daughter, his oldest daughter, <laughs> wants to come to the house. So mm-hmm. she leaves early before them. They're going to stop at the gas, uh, grocery store, or whatever, pick up a few things. We're all going to watch it. Like well, you had a yeah. wedding, you couldn't be here. Yeah. So we, we, we all we watch football. Games. A lot of yeah. football together. Yep, yep, yep. And, uh, so his Addie shows she leaves early, and they get to our house. Addie's not here, so they pull up Life three hundred and sixty to find out where <laughs> Which she's. Which I don't need anymore. She's she's like on some <laughs> weird turn somewhere else in here, and then her phone like dies. Oh, oh no! And like, Crystal's like freaking out. <laughs> Crystal's like, I, I want to have to go and find her. But immediately, I'm certain that she's getting meth. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. that's <laughs> where I go. Why that's is parents, normal, it's dude. like Why parents it's being heroin. automatically go it's to the heroin. worst case scenario. It's heroin. It's heroin. Why is she at that house? And I'm like, Brandon, you're whatever, a bad dad. I mean, is. I've seen this story <laughs> before. Why is parents being worst case? Is gonna worst case. Addie's going to hate this story, though. Straight to methamphetamine. <laughs> yeah. Boom. Was it good? <laughs> what, what, what was the story? It's a tough what, what was yard she, sale. She was at a yard sale. A yard sale. Yes. She said, I didn't want to get there before you guys got there. And so I stopped at yard sale and phone out. Happened to die. Uh, we thought she crazy, was addicted. But that was oh, a funny man. story. That <laughs> she's addicted. I'm calling rehab places. Well, they, yeah. the parents' brain. <laughs> See, man, we go off on tangents quick. <laughs> <laughs> we just got football parenting and, and food. Only it. like 30 oh, seconds. It's so good, man. <laughs> no, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, that's. I mean, we I'm the same way. It's, it's bad. Yeah, well, I, I don't know why you always. Your brain does go to the darkest it place does. a lot why? of the times. I have no idea. It's yeah. the devil trying to get in, Brandon. I know. It's like, what's she doing? Yeah. What's going on? What's going on? Yeah. Um, I, I did get a new phone though. I got a new iPhone 16. Do you like it? I love it. I love yeah, it. And I, I use the AI on it. I haven't used it. Yet. I use AI a good bit though. I do. I okay. use ChatGPT okay. a lot of times. Okay. If I'm out and I want to send a more professional email, I'll, yep. I'll scroll it in there, and it's easier. Really? I, oh yeah, it's so, so, so good. It. I utilize it. I use it. Adver- like app marketing, advertising, I'm things like that. Under a rock. I'll, I'll, I'll put. I'll yeah, put it together. Too. Sometimes oh, it'll give me great cool ideas, that. and then I just massage it the way. So even if I'm sitting on a computer, I, t- I try to use it um, really? to give me ideas for sure. That's crazy. for sure. I think it's also things you can say like. Um, you know, I, I can even do games for podcasts. And it'll throw out ten games. It, it just really? do, yeah. It'll do it's different like things. System. It's it's just tell it anything. Yeah, it's like, it's pretty interesting yeah. the Man. the world that you can go down in it. So um, I I don't think I'm I think I'm just touching on the surface. By yeah. the way, I think, I think I'm totally yeah for yeah. sure. Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. except for the companies doing it, they they they're yeah. gonna make mutt bank off this AI <laughs> yeah, when they get through with it. Oh, yeah. it's, it's a little scary, um, but look, it's here. I think you've got to embrace technology and figure out how can you use it to win. Yep. So um, yeah. now for me, though, this iPhone 16, I finally uh, upgraded to the um, font of the late 40s version font. So what? I can see. What? I can oh, read. Oh, it's bigger. <laughs> <Yeah>. The big <laughs> JV so, school glasses. So I can I can see my, my screen better. So I think you should call the, those crickets or being something. Being forty seven, I went to the the, <laughs> the cricket. Cricket. <laughs> Stop giving me an iPhone cricket. I know, I know. They're talking about making the iPhone smaller and this and the other. I'm like, no, I need no. it bigger. <laughs> I need mine like an iPad. Yeah. <laughs> I know the first iPhone was pretty small, right? It, it was. Yeah, yeah, it was tiny. Yeah, oh, yeah. Anybody else any new news? Any new news they want to share? Well, quick. speaking of meth and daughters, my daughter's turning <laughs> uh, turning one next week. Has it been <laughs> one year? Yeah. It'll be one on Wednesday. Yeah. Come on. I love, old. I love it. One year's old Wednesday. Yeah, I'm probably going to get That's her meth great. for her birthday, brother. Meth, yeah. Meth. yeah, I'd steer clear of that. Yeah. I, I'll get her a little lab set or something. Uh, yeah. One. 
I when did you I'm just had her like two weeks ago? Well, yeah, you didn't it feels that way. Yeah. yeah, you didn't. No, it's didn't crazy. Anything. October 9th will be one yeah, year. October 9th. That's oh, great, God. man. Yeah, Danielle and I were just talking we, about that because I knew you did a birthday party this week, like early. Yeah, for her family, family because they're in all town, in town right? for the wedding. Yeah, so yeah. Well, it's yeah. interesting. I remember Jason Womack was on a podcast. Yes. He's lighting his cross next Wednesday. Ah. The 66 foot cross on Womack Farms. Nice. Which is, he's doing it because that's the day his father passed away. Mm. Ah. And I was like, oh, yeah, I remember they share the same. Yeah. Well, no, they kind share the a, same a birthday. He didn't pass away. His birthday's also October 9th. So they're doing it on his, his birthday. On his birthday, okay. yeah, not the day he passed away. That's kind of cool. I was like, yeah, that is pretty cool. It is kind of They cool. share the same birthday. That's cool. You got Fleetwood, any you got anything? Fleetwood? We, 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 you're going to have a lot of news we're going to share. That's crazy, we, we man. Got I feel like every day is new news with us. Now. We won't start. We won't get into any meth stories. Yeah, I could have wrote down some. <laughs> like, yeah. You're done with that segment of the show? Yeah. Full disclosure, he has not Boy. mentioned it. We yeah. brought it up. No a... meth at cigars. No meth. 86 <laughs> meth amphetamine. Yeah, 86. Right. Where does the 86 term come from? I thought it was. It's been in restaurant. Man, I've heard it. That means you know, if knew, you're listening, you haven't been into a restaurant. 86 is like. You're out of it. Yeah, you're so fired, you're 86. Right? Well, 86, fries, like, yeah, you don't have it anymore. Yeah, Diet Coke, yeah, you're 86, yeah, whatever. Yeah, football right? number in high in the, You're out, you're out, out of it. it. Yeah. But I wonder I what it know. is. I'm embarrassed that I don't. It might I be a police like, uh, Is it a police code? Like I don't think it's a police code. Google, Google that. Google that. Google that. Oh, is that what I'm here for? I forgot. Yeah, you're here for the Google. I was actually number 86 in high school football. That's funny. Google 86. Somebody in our audience, our audience, somebody is screaming at their radio right now, telling us exactly what 86 means. 100%. Yeah. To cancel and order. Order for food. Yeah, but the origin. To remove What's an item from menu. Oh, uh, uh, let's see. From? Here's the term. Origin. Wikipedia. Oh, they're not correct. How, how, I'm not okay, the item is no longer available. Uh, I'll let you go into that as, as you're yeah. diving into that. But, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know if I've got any other new news. I'm Fall breaks next week for uh, yeah. my youngest. So we're going to take a quick trip to, to Atlanta. So all my Atlantas, you won't, you, you'll, I'll be back before you hear this. But, um, yeah, so try me, boo. My house is, is is available, but you you won't know it till <laughs> you, this won't go out till I'm back. <laughs> be money on me here, <laughs> watching the place. Yeah, you'll get into my wine and everything, right? So, um, but yeah, so we're gonna go to Atlanta. We've got the um, the uh, uh, aquarium. We're gonna do the aquarium. I texted my daughter the other day. In fact, we were at Cigars and and my wife and I the Friday night, and we were really planning the trip while we were kind of there talking yep. about it. And I texted my daughter and I said, uh, "Sea lions or penguins." which she thought was like code that she had to get the right code so that I opened the garage for her. She was on the way home from like work or something. So she's, she's like, not getting in. sea lions or penguins? So she's like, sea lions. And so I guess my wife was texting with her and opened the garage door. So she thought she got the passcode right. Oh, that is weird. <laughs> but weird. I was telling her to pick between penguins or sea lions so we could do one of those experiences. So yeah. we're doing sea lion uh, yeah, experience. Yeah. So because she picked the right password, we're doing sea lions nice. experience. Shoot, so I've be never fun. been. You gotta take yeah. some videos of It's that. one of the better aquariums around, never for been, sure. No. When we lived in Atlanta, our kids did a lot. Yep. We, yeah, Atlanta been almost, dope. We've, we've been almost a decade here, nine years, I think, here, almost a decade yep. here, so we, we don't go to the aquarium a lot, but it is a great city to go back to. Yeah, so well, we, cause you could, the Coca-Cola Museum is across the street, right? It Atlanta's is. Great. It yeah. is. Coca-Cola is cool across spot. the street. Uh, the the uh, aquarium's right yeah, there. Olympic We're taking in a Hawks, the Centennial Olympic the, Park. Yeah, it's all yeah, right yeah, where they had the bombing. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> good show. Sure. Wow. Yeah. Brandon, where were you in 1996 or whatever? It's a good city. It's a great food scene. Have you ever been to a place called Atlas? I haven't been to Atlas. Oh, dude, you got to go there yet. Have you been to, have you been to, we're going to Lake Colonial? Have you been to Lake Colonial? Mm-hmm. Really good uh, Thai food? Yes. Yep. It's so it, isn't that in Buck, the shop? Right in Shop of Bucket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bucket. yeah. yeah yep, yep, yep. Very yep, good. Yep, never Very been. good, very good. So we, we've got uh, there. And then yep. one of our old uh, spots, we lived, we we're near Virginia Highlands when we lived there sure. in, in, in Morningside area. And nice. La Tavola is is an Italian Two restaurant. So we're gonna so do cool, we're dude. gonna do La Tavola. That's awesome. Which is a great Italian restaurant. Mm-hmm. They're just like a neighborhood. It's 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 not necessarily everybody's top twenty list, but yeah. it's a great spot in, yeah. in Atlantans. If you haven't been to La Tavola, it's it's a hidden little spot in Virginia yeah. Highlands, but it's it's a good good morning spot. spot is such a cool area. Yeah, Morningside's great. <sighs> Yeah, the, the little Morningside Village, they used to have the, the Family Dog. Yep. He was on Top Chef across the street. No they, kidding. Well, Family Dog was kind of his bar, but across the street, and I can't think of the name of his um, re- restaurant, it, it ended up kind of, you know, like they go in Atlanta, spot yep. and location yep. and all that means something. And it Morningside's a cool spot, but it's not like Virginia Highlands. It's not like, you know, the... Yeah. Uh, uh, even Buckhead or yeah. or uh, Peachtree Street, yep. essentially. Yep. So you, 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 the neighborhood really needs to support, and I guess it just 
you know, Didn't. fluctuate. I can't think of the name of it. And um, Danielle, later today, she'll remember who the chef yep. was. But um, it wasn't Kevin Gillespie, although he he had a place around the corner from us. If you remember Kevin Gillespie, I mm-hmm. think he was on Top Chef as well. He had mm-hmm. he had a restaurant around there. There okay. were a lot of Top Chef guys that yeah. came out of Atlanta. You yeah. know, the, uh, Richard uh, uh, Blaze. Uh, uh, he did the he did the upside down hamburger. Yep, joint, yep, 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 uh, yep, 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 flip burger. Yep. Yeah, so huh. that was that was uh, that was pretty that interesting. Was that was a, he, he, down I don't hamburger. know these originally from Atlanta, but that was Atlanta where Flip Burger <laughs> started, and he won I think Top Chef, and then you know just continued to do some really incredible things in yep. the in the. In the that, that is world, made me but. think of Fuddruckers for some reason. Remember Fuddruckers? Well, his burgers, his burgers were better than Fuddruckers. Yeah, I remember so Fuddruckers. There used to yeah, be one in, yeah, in I remember that. The, there used to be one here. Right? Yeah, in front yeah, of yeah, the outlets, I, I think believe. it's there. No, there's still there. there. No, it's where, like, Carabas is. No, or it's somewhere it's right Destin. there. Yeah, but it's got, it doesn't have the, the yeah. alligators or, yeah. or whatever in it. Right? That's Fud Puckers. Fud Puckers. No, it's Fud, Fud, Fud Ruckers. Ruckers. Was a burger, yeah, yeah, that Ruckers. was the burger It was joint. the burger It was joint. like Carrabba's or whatever. I think it was right there. So, Juice, so, you got anything on this 86? I've been The term derives via a roundabout route from a number code allegedly in wide use in the 1920s for, from dinners and soda fountains. 86 supposedly meant we were all out of the item order said by a cook. Um, so that's kind of it, huh? It, kind of the it. extension it came from. I, I did too. I, I, I just thought it was going to have so flat. much story. <laughs> <laughs> I know. A little flat. What the heck, man? Yeah, eighty six rhymes with Nick's. So okay. it was. 86. I mean, but from the nineteen twenties, you know I really the, don't I know. I feel like I've gone down. I feel like I, I've gone. We're in the twenties now. If you think about it, we're in the twenties. It says hundred years old. old. Almost hundred years. Almost hundred years. So they had a bunch of codes. I mean, it was like eighty two needs water. Uh, Interesting. Ninety nine. The managers on the prowl. <laughs> That's gonna be a new term at Cigars. Yeah, yeah, ninety nine. Yep. Ninety nine. <laughs> that one. Bring that one back. Thirty three. Give me a cherry yeah. flavored coke. I crave a root beer. That's 19. nice. So these are like from the early nineteen hundreds. They were just. I guess they had Very numbers. Cool. Very interesting. Very interesting. I've, I think I've gone down this rabbit hole once before, and I feel like I've heard some other things too. It's one of those terms that just nobody quite knows the origin yeah that's because you know? on wikipedia yeah. it's saying the same thing and they don't yeah really know. they don't know it's wikipedia what the heck do they know all right so it is now time to play what the hell do i know with chef fleetwood covington the third so i'm going to ask you seven questions rapid succession you can pass if you need to pass okay. we'll put the clock on and here we go all right so i understand you're a concert pianist what is your first song you learn to play. For at least. Okay. Number uh, number two. Do you play any other instruments? Uh, I was on the I was on the snare line. Oh yeah. Marching drum band. line. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cool. yeah. Oh, you would get along with Will Turpin. He was on the drum line too yeah. back in the day. Number three. If you had one thing left to eat on the planet, what would it be? Hot dog. Hot dog. Hot dog. Oh, oh my God. Hot dog. Not see that From Shadow. I love it. That Hot dog. Man. That just shocked me. All right. Oh, man. That is America. Yeah. Number four. <laughs> <laughs> Number four. Uh, You've traveled to Europe, obviously. Uh, what is your favorite spot there? Monaco. Monaco. Yeah. Good spot. That is a yeah. good spot. That's yeah. good spot. Number five. What is your favorite dish to prepare? Pasta. Pasta. Ooh. All right. Yeah. I love it. Number six, if you are sitting on one of our marinas overlooking the bay, watching the sunset, what drink do you have in hand? Uh, dirty Martini Grey Goose. Nice. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Number yeah. seven, will you ever share how to make the cream corn? Yes. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes! Yes! <laughs> we got a Let's just have a big yeah. bowl of cream I corn. Well, he, right said, he said, like, what's the secret sauce? Like, There's yeah. cream corn, man. I mean, oh, you know, it, it's, it's nuts how uh, my wife and I, we love that. I mean, first off, I love all the food. We've talked about yep. that. I mean, uh, the crab legs, yep. uh, that black tip. Here's a tip of the day. Tip of the day, go to Seagars on the side as an extra, order the blackened lobster. Thank me that's later. Good. What? Oh, that me sounds later. awesome. Yeah. Thank me later. Yeah. Thank me later. We going that's after really, this? You, you we, will miss. You will miss out so on. <laughs> <laughs> we got to go after this. Then. <laughs> you, just give me the corn and lobster. And I'm good. <laughs> you you kind of miss out yeah. on the seafood when you go there because you think steak, 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 steak yeah. filet, I and mean, they are yeah. amazing. Yep. Dry aged. I mean, they're just oh, yeah. Uh, We'd really try to truffle. You get the best truffles. You 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 procure some of the best truffles in the world that you're shaving on. Oh yeah. Um, I mean, just amazing stuff. But we just brought in Alba truffles 
that are like twenty seven hundred. That's what Chase was told. Chase yeah. was told me that. Chase told yeah. me that. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah it'd get like a surf and turf thing or something. Um, that they, would they, sound like the way to it's go all, there. It's it's so good. It's it wild. is it is really the way to go there. And and um, because you, you miss out on those and you think steak, but you can't miss out on the other things they have. I mean, you know, I love the, scallops. Uh, the Caesar good. salad. The Caesar salad for two. At yep. your table. Amazing, right? Oh, yeah. Amazing. So lobster great. beignets, amazing. So amazing. Caviar, yeah. amazing. Yep. I mean, you just miss out on so many things when you just go in thinking yep. steakhouse because the, everything the else. The so good. So, remember the seafood so tower? Good. Oh, yeah. come on. When it's a tower kind of night. I mean, know. a tower kind of it's night. You know it's a good night. <laughs> <laughs> the Dover, Dover Soul. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, the tor- Torbit. You just got Torb- Torbit. Torbit. Yep. Torbit yep. just came in. Yep. And I hear that's an incredible from the Baltic it, Sea. It's good. Uh, Bering Sea. Bering yeah, Sea. Yeah. It's, 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 it's good, man. I mean, it's here's the thing. When I first took over, um, we stuck to grouper and snapper. Grouper, yep. snapper, grouper, snapper. Yeah, that's so everybody. Now, yeah. Well, yeah, right. And that's and I love – look, we're really lucky to be able to get – Some of the best fresh, grouper and snapper. Some of the best – I mean, you're getting it right grouper here. Grouper and local. snapper, right? It just, it just came out of the water yeah. the day before. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Really. Yeah, really. Yeah, and, and And so – but I think, like, you know, for the transient guests, that's, that is something – They're going that, there. They're going there for it. Yeah. Yeah. But for the people that, you know – I, it, it would be cool to do like a breakdown of like transient versus that's what I was going to ask you. Transient yeah. versus people that are yeah. local. I bet it's close. 50, I'm sure it's, it's I, like, on the like total 50, year. 50. Yeah. yeah, I, I think at is. the end of the year it's probably close. But I think it's cool to offer uh, like Copper River salmon when that comes into season. It's super short oh, yeah. season and and I mean, like turbot. Like no one no one does it no. right. Mm-hmm. And so people can go to cigars to experience different fish that is unique. You know that really not a lot of people pick up. You know, I think because the restaurant is. I mean, we're we've had a great year. Um, yeah. You know, and and it, I'm, we're very fortunate to have like really great ownership that kind of lets the creative team just run wild, right? That's awesome. And I think that yields a lot of great results. Um, it, uh, I'm just like when we picked up Wagyu. Yeah. Like yeah. when we first picked up Wagyu, it was super niche, right? Right. I didn't know if it was gonna. You know, I and was. Wor- I was. I couldn't sleep at night when you first stay. pulled the trigger on the first yeah. bl- block of. We paid. Oh yeah. 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 It, it's, yeah it's, it's like it's like eighteen hundred dollars. Yeah. Right. For, yeah. for right. A meat block, this a block like this. Yeah. Yeah. And then I, mean, I like you know, you know you go to sleep at night. You're like, man, I hope I can sell some stuff it's tomorrow. Some wagyu tomorrow because I'm out of a job. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be real big. And then we like last year we ordered Kobe, right? So Kobe was a 20 pound brick, yeah. and we paid eighty five hundred dollars. Wow. Jeez. And here's the crazy thing: like it didn't sell as quick as wagyu. Obviously, it's a different price sure, point, right? Sure, sure. But it's like you go to sleep at night, and you're like, my man, did I make a bad decision? Yeah. And then slowly, like. It exposes itself to the area, and then. But you know what? I think your gone. audience. I think it the. I think gone. what it says. It's gone. I think it says about your team and you. Yeah. Is that your audience and your customers can trust you? Key. Ooh, that, right. Dude, that's, that's. They can trust. Just they can guessing. trust yeah. you, mm-hmm. in that you're bringing something to me. Yep. I know it's going to be fresh. Yep. I know it's going to be the right stuff. I know you're going to put the right ingredients together. Yeah. And I'm going to try something that I've never tried before, but I can trust it. And mm-hmm. I think, like, yeah. you know, when. The restaurant goes through different – it had gone through different chefs, right? Mm-hmm. And, you know, the chef I studied under, he was great, great. He great cook. Um, you know, and you learn you learn from everybody. You learn you know, what you don't want to be. You learn what you want to be. Always. Pick up good yeah, and bad yeah. habits. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. And then, you know, my kind of transition was strange because the guy they brought in didn't work out, you know, and I was sous chef at the time, and I saw this small window. And, of course, you know, um, you're – survival mentality you know kicks in you're like yeah okay that's the window to go through yeah and so then you're putting 16 17 hour days and right. showing ownership <laughs> you got it yeah. no because i wasn't yeah you know, i didn't go to cia i didn't go to liqueur on blue i'm just classically a musician right right and so they're like you have and no you bona fides school, all, of, hard, school right? of hard school of hard rock right and then you start making you get the ownership to trust you and then what's really cool is to see what the fur like what the fruits of trust are yeah. right yeah so when your patrons really trust you and like demetrius fuller with symphonia or mm-hmm. uh, joan carter with the with um dustin cherry wine auction yeah typically like when they have in the past or what i've observed they're very like not scoped in is not the right word but they're very hands-on with yeah. any menu that comes out of that restaurant oh, yeah. that's yeah. for their event right yeah they don't with us like they're trusting D- demetrius you. just like 
we trust you. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. we'll run whatever you want to run. That's and hard to gain, too. Yeah. But it, it takes, takes time, so right? Long. But it yeah. takes time, right? It takes time. And it's like the key word I, I preach to my guys is consistency. Consistency is key, key. right, Barry? I mean, that's uh, brilliant. brilliant. That's it. Consistency. Day, day in, day out, right? Day in, day out. Because you could have a great service on Friday and Tuesday. It tanks. Oh, we've then, talked right. about this. You know dude. what I mean? Yeah. It yeah. takes yeah. one bad experience. One bad experience. One. One. one bad experience. One. You can have 10 great experiences, yeah, but one takes... bad can erase that. But we talk about if you're consistent, you can forgive and forget, right? I, I agree. I also think, though, if you have a bad experience, just own it. You know? Yeah, I, yeah. I exactly. Just, just try to be transparent. Sure. Be like, hey, look, we messed up here, yeah, right? Sure. And oh, let's figure out how do we go. Th- and, 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 but that transparency, I think, is where you get you still can gain that trust. You can mm-hmm. still make getting yeah. off on the wrong foot yeah. right, you know? Mm-hmm. When I think that, so, yeah. you know, I think being, you know, very forthright with mistakes Especially instantaneous. Mm-hmm. Oh, like, yeah. mm-hmm. I think people mm-hmm. I think people shy away from growth a lot of times. Oh yeah. And when you have to admit like, hey, my call was not a great call, yeah. You learn so much more A from admitting it. You gain a lot of, sh- oh, a lot of respect yeah, for yeah. being able to be hundred oh, percent yeah. humble enough to admit well, self aware, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. just that I'm so not crucial. I'm not perfect. Because yeah. a lot of chefs yeah. get yeah. blinded by ego, sure. right? And they're like, oh, I'm, right, yeah, yeah. I'm right, you're wrong, you're wrong. And like, right, that's just. Right. It's a common problem in America. Yeah, right. yeah, right. <laughs> Cheers to that. That's right. USA. USA. I feel like that's like. It, like it, oh, man. I, I, if I ever write a book, that's like my first chapter is going to be like self awareness. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it really is. You got to yeah, own up to it. Yeah. Which is hard. It's so crucial, dude. It's so crucial to know that you're not everybody's cookie and you got to figure it out along the way and the humility and what yeah. goes along with that and how and then can just on the you know, really on the flip side of that it's like the guys underneath you right mm-hmm. so now they're looking to you for their your livelihood yeah the mentorship oh and yeah if you're yeah. self-aware i oh. mean it's like they're yeah. not receptive no 100 percent no 100 percent that's great now the 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 last some of the last chefs i mean none of them were meth problems right i mean <laughs> <laughs> I know we're done with meth. On this one. Our area has a meth just, problem. Just, if you didn't just, know this. I know. We should, yeah. Like if we say the word <laughs> meth, take a drink. Yeah, take a drink every time. No, I'm just uh, kidding. So, Live PD lives in the Panhandle for a reason, dude. Uh, that's right. That's right. That's right. Cops, they all up there. Hey, so when I was younger, I I always wanted to chase perfection. Sometimes, you know, I know you have to ask yourself: Is perfection even attainable? I mean, what are your thoughts on on that? No, Jeff. Never. No. Here's the thing, man. It, you, you'd never stop learning, right? Yeah. And the minute you yeah. think you have the mentality that you've stopped learning, right, just hang your apron up. You know, oh. because there's so brilliant. I, I, well, I like that. There's so much. Like, look, there's so many. There's so many different subsets of cuisines, and you know, different techniques, and everyone's constantly evolving, right? Okay, so if you perfect a menu food in the way that like information is dispersed nowadays chefs are it's very saturated with any kind of cuisine you want to do up or down the scale whether it's food truck or three-star michelin yeah and if you're not constantly educating yourself and yeah. you think that like yeah we're perfect you got a lot of yeah work to do, right <laughs> typically those are the people that have the most work to do right yeah 100%. so i think okay so is perfection attainable no i think it's something you i think it's something that's very healthy to chase Mm-hmm. Sure, sure. Because it grows you. Along I think you the need way. to, right? Yeah. I think you've got yeah. to have goals, right? You've totally. got to shoot for your, the stars. Totally. You you got to go there, and you may get there, but yeah. you know, it, wh- whatever you're shooting for, if you don't get there, you're going to shoot better if, if you didn't have a goal. I feel like you're going to you be higher than if you didn't have a goal. If right? you don't have a rolling benchmark, yeah, you know, good call, you know, yeah. then, then you're stagnant. Yeah, when we were, you know, when I played soccer when I was younger and, and uh, Well, you played soccer? I did. I played soccer. We nice. talked about it before. I love I love really playing nice. it. I, I played it all, all the way growing up. <laughs> These guys know it. If you listen to the pod, you know this. But um I loved my club teams, but I really enjoyed playing with my high school team mm-hmm. and, and it was a lot of fun. We had a really good high school team and, and we had a Ford on our team. Shout out Levi Roberts, who that year I believe he scored my senior year, I think he scored more goals than like he broke the state record for goals scored in one season nice. in high school in, in the state of Georgia at the time. Um, and we always wanted perfection. We wanted, especially in our, like our home county of Henry County, we wanted perfection in in being like the county champs. Right. Uh, there were only there were only three uh, three high schools in our county, but we were the newest one. I was the third graduating class of my okay. high school, and so it was Stockbridge and Henry County were the the two uh, teams that had been there forever. Right. right. That that was the our county was really a, from South Georgia, but it's now kind of met, part of uh, Metro Atlanta. So it's. I mean, they might have nine to twelve high schools now. I have no clue how many high schools yeah. they have now. It's blown up, and, and it's yeah. 
it's a massive a uh, 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 part of that kind of metropolitan Atlanta now. But um, there was just three, and we always wanted to to kind of be the county champion. We beat Henry County every year, but but we could not beat Stockbridge. It was just so tough and it was like and, georgia uh, alabama just, we couldn't what you're we, saying? We, i never beat them i never beat them my year they were anonymous we wanted <laughs> more like vandy uh, we <laughs> wanted we wanted to beat them we wanted to beat them so bad we had a chant that i'll do here now and i'll need your help okay because oh, okay. i would chant it and then my teammates then would follow me up i know okay so we would we would start out and we say we are the eagles then we, we are the, the eagles. eagles we just want to win we, we just want to win. Stockbridge is just a bunch of scrubs. Stockbridge is just a bunch of scrubs. County full of hicks. County, County full, of full of hicks. And if you do not like us. If, if you, you do, do not, not like us, us. We don't give a truck. We don't give a <laughs> <laughs> And then we say, go Eagles, say go Eagles. Yeah, and so, but we never got over that hump. We never yeah. got over that uh. shot. So, so, like, when you miss perfection, though, when you miss perfection, like we were saying, it is healthy. But how do you reframe that to be healthy? You know, because we, we kind of miss perfection. But, you know, just reframe it. And they were better. And I learned some lessons yeah. about losing and a teammate and leadership yeah. and all that. But how do you reframe that? Because I think it's important to not stay in, like, I missed it. You know, how do you reframe that's, it? That's a good right? point, man, because a lot of things, too, like – like this this dinner we did in April, but we did a Alice in Wonderland theme, right? And you know we did flowers that were hung upside down, looked like they were floating, and you, you were there, yeah. And, and you know there was even even at that dinner there were things like I had a page of notes, mm. and I was just like, and that was a concept that I'd wanted to do for like two years. So you had a page of notes for what you did not like, for what I didn't like, nice. okay. for what I didn't yeah. like, what I didn't thought went yeah. well, or what yeah. I didn't think went well, or what the team and that's I, discipline. Yeah, you know you have to, man. Yeah, yeah. And it's because y- here's the thing. I think as a creative, you have to learn to let go. Mm. You know, you have to learn to let go of ideas that don't go because hun- you have this built up perception in your head of, oh, it's going to go great, mm. and you know, everyone's going to go wild, and you know, you get carried out in a golden. Che- you know what I mean? This just yeah. unrealistic. It's like every su- expect- it's like every social media post I do. Right. <laughs> 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 it's going viral, <laughs> and it's and I, and I think the more the uh, more times that you do that, and the the quicker the the quicker the bounce back is. Yeah, you know, like I went, and it's never disappointment. See, that's yeah. the thing. It's never. I'm never disappointed. I'm always like, okay, cool. This is, di-. and I don't. And okay, and I, I don't. This is not. I do not mean this to sound arrogant at all. But we've been in a. We I've got a great culinary staff. I've got a great mm-hmm. front of the house. Right. You do. You know, you revolve with mistakes as they happen. You fix them. You know, it's it's how do we repair mistakes instantaneously or as quick to that as possible, right? But I feel like there's not been really a lot of like, oh man, that was a that was a terrible decision mm-hmm. because I, you know, like my thought process when I go home before I make a big decision, I think about it for a couple of days rigorously. Wow, yeah. for hours on end. And, and do you, the way- when you're making those decisions, do you do you do that in a bubble or are you like yeah. Yeah. You, are, so you're you're making the decision. Yeah. Do you? I get so counsel. What, you do get counsel. Yeah. I think so that's you're, super important. That's right. If it's super important, you're getting counsel. So yeah. you're you're running it by a few trusted. Yeah. People Mentor. that you have. Well, and outside of the industry too. Oh. Smart. Okay. Yeah. Smart. Yeah, um, yeah. So like I've yeah. got like you know I'll do I think it's super important to think in an insulated way, very temporary in a yep. sense of where I can get my. I know this is my opinion that's not down. influenced, right? Yep. And then, like, I've got, you know, when I moved to Florida, I'm, I've, I've got four to five, five really good friends of mine, and that's my circle, right? Mm-hmm. I have mm-hmm. zero friends outside of that. And these are the guys that, yeah. you know, one, it, Vic Vigalis, his dad, started Destiny Worship Center. Great gotcha. Uh, Vic's a great dude. Yeah, Vic's a great dude. Um, Jordan Tardo used to be the youth pastor and now is a, okay. uh, owns his own uh, church in Tallahassee. Johnny Reynolds uh, is ex-Special Forces. You know, he's... Mm-hmm. He's the kind of person that could dismantle you with a nail clipper. Yeah. You know what I mean? Nice. Uh, nice. Phil and still smile. And still smile. <laughs> uh, Phil Poundstone. Uh, so we to... want to know that guy, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. He's, he's cool. And so, like, and so, and then Phil, and, and so I get these guys together and I'll run. And it, it's because they're all real, like, they're very, like, spiritual, right? So yeah, they've yeah. got a level of just very calm temperament, right? Mm-hmm. And it, the answer is usually just like that. Wow. That's you know? Cool. 
Because they a they're not biased to what I think. Yeah, I would decide. yeah, yeah, yeah. And so they can give me really good counsel. And you got do they ever do they ever challenge your thought process? All the time. So it is yeah. all it's the a time. Does that do you find that that's? I mean, sometimes you have something and and you know that it works. And do you kind of like man, these guys aren't in the industry; they don't know. No. So so when they tell you, and then it, 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 I assume it makes that idea that much better. Yeah. Well, I right? kind of describe the situation in a way where I redact details that they think they would try to understand. Okay. Mm. So like if I have a situation where, um, like, uh, sometimes like if like this cover to exa- or yeah. example, you know, yeah. I, I went to them cause I hate, dude, when this picture came out, I was like, I love it. <laughs> oh man, that's real aggressive. You it know, feels, and I, it, all, <laughs> it, it does feel that way. I love it. I love it. I love but it. it's not I your just, full personality in one picture. We, right. And right. so like, I'd go to them because a part of me became like insecure about it. And then they're, and then immediately they're like, dude, X, Y, and Z, and because like, and they they challenge me daily. That's good. They keep me grounded. You have a text stream going with, between them. <laughs> yeah, not we yeah. can ever publish. But, <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. I understand. I appreciate that. Uh, but we, we have the same thing. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, but you touched on a really good point. The dudes need counsel of other dudes to put us yeah. in check. We really do. And but that's got to be honored between those people. Brandon? It's got to be shared yeah. Brandon? to other places. Yeah, it, brilliant. Uh, uh, but you know, to have that camaraderie that. You, those dudes aren't going to spill everything. No, because we are all so flawed. But we, like you said, it would, if we're just trying to get better, we're but not going to be perfect. But that takes so much but, time. That we were talking about time in gaining trust for your customers, but time in gaining trust with five dudes. That's yeah. All. yeah. That didn't happen no. overnight. Twelve years. Yeah. That, yeah. It did, that didn't right. happen overnight. It's 12, trust. 13, it's no. Trust it, and if you're listening to this right now, you need to find people around you, just like Fleetwood just described yeah. because but it's hard yeah and it's, it's going to be hard. so hard and you're going to be vulnerable and, and you're but you're going to go through some duds and when you get yeah. it you need to use your intuition to say okay they're not part of that circle and, and then but when you find it you got to hold on to it and continue to nurture it and then you've got to understand that it can't be a one-way street you also have to invest in their lives so yeah, that's right it can't yeah. like i'm sure my next question was it's not all about you're not taking your ideas to them you're the only one oh, and it's like no. chef fleetwood's like inner circle they're they're depending on you in their life as well to speak some truth to them. Yep, yep. it's got to be a two way street. Yeah, if somebody agrees it's with hard. everything you say, kick them to the curb. Dude. <laughs> but you you need to. You, yeah. Yeah, I cannot. Really yeah, I mean, these, no, I really, cannot say enough how yeah. I cannot say enough how important that is in life. It's so oh, important yeah. to me to have guys. You guys are in my life. It's so important. My buddy Joe is so important to have folks in my life that I can reach out to my brother uh, Nathan he's he's big and important in my life as well too and you got to have those people in your life that you can reach out to and say hey this is going on what do you think yeah. You know, you yeah. they're going to keep it confidential. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, they're not going to go out and blab it to everybody and oh hey this is and what that's going another on. facet yeah. too that's important yeah. because you know like being I mean it I'm still trying to just really decipher all this stuff right just because I didn't think any of this was going to happen right I thought I was going to get a job in the kitchen and cook you know some cool stuff and yeah that'd be it of it and you know that'd be the end of it and but then, it is really but it's really up. just in a weird trajectory. you're blowing up in right. a great people, way like, How would I ever and so that? right I mean and here you are on this podcast I mean it's I just mean, no, it's like, it's like, it. you, you you've arrived, life, you've arrived. <laughs> <laughs> this podcast man I'm gonna be honest with you it's only downhill from here dude. It's, <laughs> it's only downhill <laughs> you peaked today bro we're now a ten dollar fifty fantasy team just lost I'm sure of it we're now a ten dollar and fifty cent podcast I want to sell my my stock now <laughs> i'm dumping it but i think uh, for us for me at least it's um because you know like you you i think we all feed a version of ourselves that we feel safe giving to the public right mm-hmm. that like this is the persona this is mm-hmm. what puts me a, at a level of vulnerability that i'm comfortable with yeah. but there's still so much behind that and to have guys like like because they're, and they're again this is just me being you know vulnerable there's i mean i'll call these guys and say like you know i thought it was gonna be more than this no, or not more but i thought that i was gonna because you yeah for eight nine years into yeah. materializing what it's gonna look like mm-hmm. you know like jim carrey said it's the best some of the best words i've ever heard i was he said something to paraphrase in here yeah i wish people could realize all their dreams money and goals and all that because they figured that that's not where happiness is yeah. and it doesn't sustain no, no 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 and, no, and no, you no. when you think yeah. as a chef yeah. there's yeah. a level of ego right that you feed with you know dinners that go well and accolades and uh, you know awards that a restaurant garners yeah 
And some days, like, I'll call, you know, I'll call Vic. I just talked to him this morning and, and say, like, I just want to thank you for just being there. Mm. Oh, it's so good, man. You know what I mean? That, that, that. that putting out and that generosity in your words and your text, it, it just goes so so far. I mean, I've said it before. The fruits of the Spirit are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, and self-control. Mm. They are coming from the Spirit and not you. Mm-hmm. But if you can live in that world, mm-hmm. you know, if you can live in that world, that's happiness. Right. That's good, dude. Because everything else, like, then, then you, you know, then you, when you're creating and you do it, but your happiness isn't dependent on I made the best That's filet true. or I made the best, I served the best That's meal. Great you know what I mean? Point, so, man. so it's, it's because all you're free like, from it. You're free from it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but but it's not. But it's the fruits of the spirit, not you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not you. It's, you gotta say it's, it's not, not me. My fruits are pretty rotten. <laughs> rotten. And I think like if you're a good, I think if you're a good steward of what you're yeah. given, yeah. right? Oh yeah, yeah. I think there's a level of like mental, um, mental stability. But you know, there's a level of I can let it go. Yeah. You know, because I know that this none of this is really mine anyway. Yeah. I'm just stewarding it from I'm just the a caretaker. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a duke right, of a right. castle. And, and, uh, right. Yeah. That's not his castle. It's not his castle. And, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. and that right. constantly yeah. keeps your ego in check. You're right. Daily. Yeah. Well, ego ain't your amigo, baby. No. Nope. Ego Ooh. ain't your amigo. That's your downfall. That's good. I'll we, give, I'll give my own self. We trip over our own ego. Ego ain't your amigo. We get out of our own way. So, you ever thought about Top Chef? You know it's weird, man. We were in New York for food and wine last year, and uh, I mean, you gotta, re- you gotta, you gotta end probably because yeah. the chef uh, Emerald, like he's here. I mean, right? Well, Lagasse's here. And Emerald's so. great, and Emerald comes to us all the time. Yeah. Emerald, yeah. I don't say he intimidates me, but he's like bigger than life. Right? Sure, I mean, oh, yeah. why? Yeah, I mean, so like, he told me what meatballs to buy in public. So Emerald, I'm, I'm gonna buy those. I meatballs. think he's like one of the only chefs to sell like two, sh- two, two businesses as a chef for like. Multiple millions and millions <laughs> yeah. of dollars. And, and it's, I mean, it's insane. And it's time. It's taking time. And again, like I'm really like I'm an introverted heart, right? Yeah. You yeah. know, I'm I'm very I'm like the, you're doing well. You're here. doing that. Yeah, you're doing job that. Today. <laughs> it so today. so like the I'm like the tube at the bank. I'd like to go to and from work. Right? <laughs> Can I get you? Yeah. yeah. Just insulated, right? But he'll so Emma will come in. I think he was in a couple months ago, and he sits down with you know like George Brandon. I don't know if he's sex with Setco and all these guys that. You know, it's this big of a circle, sure. right? Sure. And, you know, George will text me and say, hey, I got Emerald with me. And I'm just like, I'm not going in there. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and the restaurant and right. cigars, right? right. And, it's, and, it's, and I'm just like, no. Restaurant. You know, because I'm like, well, then I'll ask the captains. Like, I haven't done this a million times. Yeah. And they're like. Was it was this was the steak? What do you do? You like, do you like the steak? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, right. What do you think? What's his body yeah, language? Good. But what's um, his body language? But yeah, it's uh, it's uh, what'd you ask? <laughs> no, if you were going to go on top shelf. Oh yeah, so we oh, were. Yeah. In, so sorry. So see that. See Emerald rattles. Yeah, Emerald. I don't remember what we're talking uh, about. Hey, we're we're ADD here, man. <laughs> yeah. So we were in um, we were in Chicago or no, we were in New York for New York Food and Wine last October. And you never know who you're going to run into, right? And so this older couple wanted to talk to me for – I mean, and again, this event was like 1,100 people in three hours, so you're moving food. Jeez. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. it's a ton, right? Jeez. And this guy wanted to sit and have a conversation, and again, I kind of obliged. And turns out his name is Bob Kirsch. He's the president of Food Network. I say I nice. know that name, wow. right? Yeah, nice. And so he, you know, he said, let's keep in touch. You know, we've got – I think it was um it, they have like it's weird to see the back you've got the name the look and the talent like, well, man, like I, I can't believe that. they package. wouldn't be looking yeah, at you could, like that. complete package yeah. be great on television. Yeah. yeah well here's the thing i i hope that should have been the title <laughs> of the movie yeah. yeah that door opens just but, like the door that opened for you at cigars it, yeah you saw an opportunity yeah you like attitude yeah, and hard work i got this yeah. Yeah. yeah but i don't i don't think like you know and, and i think it was either top chef or master chef so yeah. the backbone of what food network does they've got to it's a you know they've got chopped for more of like sure. you know and then they've got the the higher end i don't know if it's top chef or master chef yeah yeah I think there's master chef's fox or top chef yeah i don't know the ones yeah. one of those yeah and but those know, guys all talk by the way they oh, all yeah. share oh yeah oh without yeah. a doubt yeah. and you know they they wanted they were invited no it was it was it was it was iron chef oh yeah yeah, yeah. Chef. Right. Maybe, yeah. i think that okay. might have been there's right. a bunch Again, of could them. be wrong yeah um and i like thought about it oh really and i I don't know if I wanted to do it or not. Yeah, Why? it's it's. I think this. you got to. I think you guys just figure out like where you are. I mean, you know, 
That's a that would be a tough call. I think you got to see yeah. like where you are well, in in your career and, well, and where to, you want to be and how do you want the direction to go. You know, yeah. right? bingo, right? right? And so yeah. I personally yeah. would love to get on Iron Chef or sure. Stop Chef or Master sure. Chef, sure. But I just don't think it's I. It would be I'm not that it would be good or bad, but it's just not the direction I think the restaurant needs to move in. Right. Because right, I think, right. okay, because here's the thing. Okay, let's say I get on Iron Chef. Let's say I win it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? I'd be right. real, real right. arrogant right now. <laughs> but let's just say that. I, I think I, it could happen. Let's just say yeah. I have a chance of winning it and just by chance. You make that a moose you know, boost. Yeah. You make that yeah, same a moose boost that you made for me the other night. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. Like that. It was insane. It's just top, I, that's all I've I, talked I, about. I, so it's top secret confidential. Yeah, yeah I, I told, told Brandon about it uh, yesterday, and I was like, dude, Why this can I have that? sick. <laughs> Wait, what was it? It was He would have to describe it. It had ribeye? No, no. So, yeah, I gave you Japanese wagyu. What? See, yeah, I, I, see, I, I told him I feel like I feel right. like I had like four <laughs> bites. I, I had four that? bites that were insane. Well, and here's the thing, like, hey, you know, hey, what, hey, you gotta have a, you gotta have a top top podcast in the you do. Coast. <laughs> you do, you do, you have to, right? <laughs> so I, it was a uh, Japanese wagyu. Uh, I did caviar on top of it. My, my oh, plan, it right? was insane. Yeah, cool. oh, it was it insane. Was cool. Like and, the ba- best bite of food ever. It's like four bites. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I think like, I don't know, man, like I have to be really honest and make sure that, you know, I mean, I don't drag the restaurant in a way yeah. that's I want. I have to be that's like, like humility. Unbiased, but that is the right? humility, yeah. though, is you putting this, them, you know? them and the employees and their team well, in front of yourself. Right. Exactly. So you're doing it for me or yeah. am I doing it for we? Right. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 And I think, right. you know, you do, let's just say you do it and then, then there's this big buzz around it. But yeah. where do you go from that? What well, is it? How does that not help the rest of where you go from it, but like I'm ve- I, because of me, if I ever open my own restaurant one day, you know, which is, you know, I'm sure that's every, the, every executive chef. Every executive chef is, well, has got to have, that hopefully it's in thing. the, sure. it's, it's in the pipeline. Sure. Um, sure. You then that I can run any direction I want to. Sure, right. But I've got a duty to what that restaurant was set up to 100%. do. Hundred percent to make sure that I uphold that. Again, we're talking about being good stewards of what we're giving. That's right. right. That's exactly. That's right. a New York style steakhouse. And now, yes, you could put. You know, you could bring awards to it. I'm, but there's different types of awards that will elevate it rather than keep it. I agree at a certain level. That's I interesting. Think. No, that's yeah. that's very interesting. And I love your take on that. Is is wanting to be a good steward. Yeah, of what you've been given, and, yep. and by the way, uh, spotlight on cigars. Cigars is s e a g a r s dot com. Cigars dot com. S e a g a r s. Cigars dot com. Check them out. We've got the executive chef Fleetwood Covington the third here at Cigars. Cigars is prime steaks and seafood is consistently recognized as one of the best restaurants in Northwest Florida. The only triple a four diamond steakhouse in the Destin area. Our dining experience has been recognized as one of the top five steakhouses in Florida and the top ten restaurants in Destin. And personally speaking, I'd say number one. one. Ask anybody. We appreciate you. Seriously, ask anybody. Ask anybody. anybody. What's the number one? (laughs) Seriously. You're listening to What the Hell Do I Know with JB. JB with ADHD. Elemental B. All right, so we are back, and we are back for the quote of the day by Tay Tay. This is Juice's favorite part. Unbelievable. This is Juice's favorite part. So uh, Tay Tay, yeah, we're girl dads, and and Taylor Swift, man, she's top of the game, baby. And so she said in her song Willow from the album Evermore, I never would have known from the look on your face lost in your current like a priceless wine. Not huh. sure exactly what that means, but what you know, does what's Taylor mean? mean with that? Which which goes right into the fact that our first drink is gone now, and we have switched over to Costa Brown or Costa Brown. We're not sure exactly how we'd pronounce. I think it's Costa. We said didn't we just Costa. 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 I think it's Costa. 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 I think it's Costa. Is, the more is you it California? It's Costa. Where's it made they're it? Gonna get really, they're gonna get really. If you like a Pino, yeah. let me tell you what. Yeah. All they do is Pino. Yeah, they know. Mm. They know Pino. Mm. This is good. This is this is their. I think St. Rita Hills. Which is there in uh, Sonoma County, and, and there's some great crazy. I like these large wine glasses because my big ass nose always hits yeah. the lips. So. Oh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> That's in there. Well, you know when you're when you're when you're, when you're drinking you. wine, fine wine, you like to grab on to the to the bottom. To the shaft? The, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Are you a shaft? Oh. Juice is going to take us off the rails. Oh, there it is. 
ass. Brandon just showed me some balls. <laughs> oh, I now, don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> showing you a dog. Shaft and balls. Oh, oh my gosh. I feel like. God for editors. <laughs> Yeah, that that probably stay. Um, but, but I think if you hold on to the, we'll call it the, uh, the we'll call the stem. I, I was gonna say the base, the base. <laughs> but that that's still is bad. <laughs> but, but, you know, uh, this this little uh, bottom part, bottom yeah, so part. I'll do it together. Yeah, right here. and you can hold this bottom part. You like and this? the reason why is temperature of your hand. Oh yeah, would change the the taste. Of I the run wine. hot too, so, dude. And you're just opening it up. We're just opening oh. it up right now, just a little bit. You mm-hmm. don't want it to overspill. Just open it up a little bit, allowing the air to get in a little bit. Sorry, it's hurricane season, so that's so good. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a that's a really good one. We had to, we had to switch over from the uh, fall a fall frizz. I think is the name of the fall frizz. Is so good, so good. It's so good. It's that, you can find that at Cigars, by the way. Yeah. Fall frizz. Yeah, I was going to ask you about the drinks. Do you get to have any say so in that as well? I'm sure you got a you know a bar manager, but mm. um, that's we, probably fun too. Making it drinks. Is. What's well, another side of the business, right? Yeah, you know, because yeah. there's got to be a big part. Well, I mean, like doing tasting menus, we do typically with wine, but like right now we're trying to do a like a cocktail tasting menu. You know, Heck I think yeah. we'll probably go tequila first because that's one of the <laughs> oh man, Heck yeah. I like to tequila. Drink. <laughs> yeah. Speaking my language, yeah, you brought in that good stuff that one. High in tequila. Mm-hmm. So they have, I think, it's called the explosion of flavor or flavor explosion. I can't remember if Flo- I'm saving. Ex- it's explosion of flavor. Explosion of flavor. Explosion of flavor yeah. is a drink. It's a new drink. Okay, fall on drink the on their menu, yeah. and it's amazing. Now, you guys use a smoky mezcal mm-hmm. in it. I'm not as big a mezcal. I want to get into mezcals, and, and I feel like I will get into mezcals. Yep. But I'm still a tequila guy, so mm-hmm. I substitute that for tequila, which I think is totally fine in that drink. Yep. And yep. But that drink goes down really well so if that's another one i'd, I'd encourage explosion you to of flavor yes yeah, smoky mezcal pineapple with chipotle syrup that's mm. interesting it's it's an amazing drink. pineapple yeah. and lime juice in a tajin rim glass tajin rim glass tajin tajin i love that you oh, okay. could not get tajin the tajin is that they, i'm in love georgia it. dude i don't know what to tell I you it's some red stuff so it's chipotle so syrup is that house made i never tajin. heard of that tajin's in a mexican yeah. it's like a mexican huh. kind of um salt but it's got a little bit of spices Those, in it okay you, you would know better Man, than that I would. Does you're, you're right on yeah. it's it's a great uh in fact you, if you go to mexico they're going to do a lot more margaritas and tajin yep. they're going to do a lot of different things especially a spicy margarita. tajin on the rim you see a lot. spicy margarita um was good 100 percent a lot of like the too. the drinks that are you know like we had a spicy margarita is a big thing right yeah. now yeah, you know? is, yeah. We've, we've had people say okay well do you have ghost pepper that you can make this yeah. margarita with you want it like, do you really want to do you want the bitter Ooh, i don't want i don't want ghost oh, ghost yeah. pepper ghost pepper i do not want in in there no, Cause, jalapeno, cause, uh, serrano yeah. pepper serrano pepper is 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 a good choice for a spicy margarita yeah. after that i think you're you're just asking for throat problems yeah you want to yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, we were in uh, San Miguel de Allende, and they, uh, they, uh, this lady there said, "This is how they make it in Mexico for um, their spicy margaritas." And we, we, it was at a place called Bekeb, B E K E B. So beautiful one of those beautiful. words that could go forward and backwards, the same, or whatever. Mm-hmm. It means something in, in Mexico, and, and in fact, I, I, we're friends on. Instagram, so I apologize for getting getting why you named it, because I can't remember. But she's she owns the bar, the rooftop in San Miguel, which is on the UNESCO World Heritage Site. It's an amazing town, and this top bar, you look over the city and these churches, and it's just amazing. Yeah. And we did this, uh, what would you call it, Brandon? Like a like a um, kind of a bar class, like a cocktail making class with mm-hmm. this owner. It was just amazing. We like it's to learn a, when we go on trips. Oh, a little, I like to learn the experiences. Yeah. yeah. So she had us make a Mexican margarita, which yeah. we would probably call a skinny margarita here because she did like what was it two ounces of tequila, Pure an ounce agave. an ounce of um uh i guess agave yeah, mm-hmm. and then yeah. a half ounce of so maybe i don't know it was pretty no it's it's very my wife's gonna know it, but it was it was like two one and a half, and that's it and yeah. then and then she cut up uh the serrano pepper in it and shake it. But yeah, it's not too spicy. And she did and said he she had over. she had worm salt. Worm salt. It was great. The Mexican worm salt. It was great. But they grind up like dried worms into this like peppery salt. stuff and salt. You wouldn't and, you think it's worms, it's great salt. Hmm. It was yeah. the best good. thing. Oh, she really sent good. me back she sent me back with this worm salt in a baggie. I if you didn't like, know it was made out of worms, you would think I, this is really good. 
I didn't have to hide it through customs at all. <laughs> yeah, right. Worm salt. Man, worm salt. Mexican worm Maybe I can get salt. worm salt cigars. I don't know. Maybe. 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 That would Maybe, be interesting. Yeah. That would be really interesting. Look up what's in that fall fizz. Because we, we just drank that, and the audience may want to That's good. It's, I don't, it's not, is it not on the menu? Not on this one. It's in the one. secret cigars okay. menu. So yeah. maybe, yeah. well, Speakies it's it's menu. a fall one. It's the fall <laughs> It's the fall <laughs> menu. It just came out. You, uh, you were saying it's three. There are some off things off your menu. There's a few things off the menu that yeah. you could you could get. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll tell one secret, because I know lobster beignets are something that yeah. aren't on the menu. But yeah. if you come in and say, I want lobster beignets, which are I don't amazing. think I've ever gone not. Got they're, those. Yeah. They're amazing. They're amazing. The speakeasy thing is cool because, I mean, if you know, kind of, there have been times where patrons will come in and I know that, again, patrons that have lived in the area and have, you know, patronage us patronage patronize pa- pa- no no, no. Patron- mm, patronize like, pa- no Dang like it, they patron know. no they come to cigars mm. they patron yeah. cigars okay we'll they, they can they they know they, they they've been there they know what and so i kind of like to I'll, i won't even drop menus and i'll just cook uh, yeah, for them all night yeah. that's oh, cool yeah man. that's yeah. pretty cool and yeah. then we just do like these that's speakeasy so tasting cool. menus yeah yeah it's like when everything's good just be like surprise me dude <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. Right? really when you yeah. do that when you do that yeah how do you do the the um, pricing for them? Depends. And so, and that's tricky because typically, like I know, you know, I try not to be too assuming, right? Yeah. With, yeah. oh well, yeah, you. What you, you don't want to say like, here, I just gave you a thousand dollars worth of. Yeah, because yeah. that yeah. doesn't yeah. ever go <laughs> right. over. Well. Right, right, <laughs> right, right, right. And, and that's right. a like, but we do get emails. You kind of know where the person's at yeah. and what their normal check. Yeah. I mean, you like guys know your customers well. Averages, yeah. but yeah. also too, like, you know, I'm. I'm very transparent in a sense yeah. of like if they'll call and say, "Hey, look, you know, we want you know, chef to cook for us, so do we want a tasting menu." Yeah, I'm like, okay, well, based off what I kind of in the mood to do, like this is what this is what it's going to be like four hundred, three fifty a person without yeah. wine. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. And right, then right. you have different different supplemental things that you know, like caviar and wagyu that I can supplement in. Yeah. So instead of doing a New York strip. Like a piece of New York strip, I can put a piece of Wagyu in. Nice. Instead of doing like smoked salmon roe on a scallop dish, I can put a piece of golden etc. in or a, 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 I'll say a bump because we do caviar bumps, mm. but like a quenelle of, you know, golden etc. caviar. Mm. And, you know, people, they oh. eat it up, man. They it's love great. it. And it's no, because it's it gives them something different. Yes, yeah, yeah. 100%. Right. Right. Yeah, just to try right. something different. That's that's, that's a great, great thought. Um, on your wine, 600 bottles of wine yeah. you guys have. Yeah. And, and, and I know there's been sommiers there that's paul schoenberg man that's paul right yeah okay he's paul will come by but he's also kind of go he floats in a couple different spots yeah. right yeah he's a jack of all trades yeah man. yeah and we're really lucky to have him and he's that wine list that he's built man I mean, it's it's second to none it's good it's a it's, it's good by far the best wine list in the area by he far. takes a lot of time by with far. it yeah and he's you know you gotta you gotta nurture it like a kid man yeah. i mean you really have to grow it in the direction you feel like it needs to grow and it's the same thing as my my job right you've got to keep up with wines that are relevant and new mm-hmm. stuff and first growth and you know like small. i, I want to say that uh, costa is where i first had at cigars and i'm the, now, really? the costa wine I, yes yep. and i'm now mm-hmm. costa brown and i'm now on their uh list like I'm, I've joined their list, and so I get the you know, a couple. I get a couple cases a year, Dude, you know, whatever. Nice it's yeah. the, to get on to get on good winemakers list. It took me. It thing. took me about a year, <laughs> but yeah. I got I got on. Yeah, it, and yeah. and I won't let go. So any allocation Dude. they give me, I buy it. Yep, yep, yep. Dude, yep. y'all have, is that the biggest wine list in the area? Six hundred. Yeah, I, I think, think so. it's. Yeah, I, think I it feel is. like it's got to be it is. right yeah. up there. If I it's think not. it is. I, I went somewhere the other day. I don't want to mention their name oh, but come on let's do us throw them under the bus i don't too. i don't want to throw them under the bus they're new they're trying to figure it out i'm sure but um and and they're they're they are franchise so it's it's not uh, locally i, I know where you're, i, I know feel like you're yeah me too. but <laughs> but it had it had like the hits that you might see you know but it's new like it had like the four bottles for three bottles for pinot three bottles for yeah. white yeah. three bottles for cab and then you had their reserve or whatever their their and then and you know, had the Jordan or Camus or whatever you know it just yeah. it was four bottles of yeah. you know a nicer higher end and that was it so I mean there might have been eight bottles or nine bottle selections mm-hmm. and that was I mean and their white tablecloth you know uh, I wanted I don't know I'm curious what he's talking about <laughs> yeah. Yeah, their white tablecloth and they just opened just opened 
You know, they. Uh, oh, my yeah. cat. Oh, my yeah, you know, I'm trying to be as ambiguous as possible. <laughs> hey, we'll kind of keep it there. I don't want to say it. I don't want to say it. I don't want to say it. Hey, so we. I want to move to the next question. In fact, we mentioned that you were a concert pianist in wow. Europe, which I would love to dive into a little bit here. And how do you transition I mean, to chef? I mean, that's yeah. I mean, what? What? T- yeah. He's what transitions wow. you to that? Um, okay, so the the real short version of that is right. Uh, I was in Fairhope, Alabama when i was 20 which is where i think of concert pianists yeah <laughs> <You're> right <laughs> totally. oh, oh, the great. totally and fairhouse near mobile alabama people <laughs> yep. Right. Yep. Right. Yep. well you know For just the, the state of alabama yeah, it's, a little it's bit produced a lot of concert pianists west of Pennsylvania. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a little bit yeah. West. just a little bit west yeah and it's and i was doing a charity event there uh yeah. and this guy like drug his chair up on stage and I'm like on purpose on purpose <laughs> and i'm like I'm either going to get shot right, or right. I'm going to let this go. And he's got to be somebody, right? right. Or he's seen out and we'll just get him. We'll just get, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Turns out he was Salvador Dali's only student. Come on. Oh, very yeah. cool. Yeah. So In Fairhope, Alabama. No, right. And he Did just he passed. moved to Fairhope, Alabama? No, he was or? from. And so Nall's story, he just passed a couple weeks ago. But oh, wow. um, he came from a banking family in Birmingham and wow. didn't want to do banking. Became an artist in his early 20s. Went over to Spain, uh, met Salvador Dali, stood outside one of his art exhibits or exposés. Or so music. not everyone from Alabama is a kissing cousin, then. Is that what you're yeah. saying? We are going to be so, so many followers. They had wow. so many. Very diverse <laughs> Very diverse crowd. Very diverse crowd. I, know, I want to apologize to all my Alabama friends. And so, like, he, long story short, he was like, what, well, do you want to come play my birthday party? And uh, there's a little place in the Côte d'Azur in France. His name's Vance, right? So yeah. it's up in the mountains. I was like... Yeah. Duh. So I'll see you there. <laughs> I'll be there. <laughs> I'll be yeah. there. That. And then, you know, it's I mean, plane ticket doesn't happen. Plane t- ticket doesn't happen. I'm like, ah, he was full of crap. Yeah, yeah. And then I call him and he was like, well, you know, fly him private. And so fly private. This, again, this is coming from a kid that nice. grew up in South Carolina. I got you. Right? Mm-hmm. I know. Very, like, humble beginnings. I, mean, I, I didn't yeah. know. I didn't know my yeah. butt from a hole in the ground. Yeah, I'm I just like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. So, right. so you land in uh, Nice. We landed in Nice. That's and nice. then we took a helicopter to Monaco, and he was there. And Did you land on the casino? No. Oh, we landed on that. We landed. Uh, there's, a, there's a port up by, um, by the harbor. And yeah. I'm like, okay, cool. This is, this is, this is really going to be great. <laughs> this is, <laughs> is going to be great. Yeah. This will be a good time. You got to be and nervous. Land, when you land dude. in, in night, Monaco in a helicopter, yeah. it's going to yeah. be a it's good time. Well, I just didn't know, right? I'm just like, oh, you know. So just, for our listeners out there, if you go to Monaco and you land there in a helicopter, that's not so yours. you'll know <laughs> it will be a good time. It's going to be a great time. <laughs> it's going to be a great yeah, time. So it was yeah. fun. And then, so, you know, like that, I think it was that week, that Friday night, I think I landed there on a Tuesday. It's a little blurry. It's from almost... 13 years ago, 14 years ago, um, that week, uh, you know, when he introduced me to Prince Albert of Monaco, right? Wow. So there were some of the Royal family, which was yeah. I'm just like, yeah, oh, what is happening? That's crazy. So I supposed to, I was supposed to stay for like a week. Okay. And I ended up staying four and a half years, four and a half years. Of my, yeah. I didn't, awesome. I didn't come. I came home twice and I'm like, I'm like, I'm not coming home. So yeah, you're in there. You're at the end of the week. Yeah. What? How does this get, like? What's the, you no clothes? So yeah. there's been a few times I've thought about staying somewhere for sure. But yeah. I mean, well, what do you do? I mean, I don't know. Man. And here's the thing: How like, does it keep going? Um, and that was that was that was that was the part that I had to figure out. You yeah. know, like, you know, I didn't know French. You know? Yeah. Um, Did you mm-hmm. learn? Yeah. Four years, four and a half years. Yeah. Picked up. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, dated somebody that was Mogask, so okay. they spoke French, so that helps. Okay. Um, and you get, you know, survival kicks in, right? Yeah. You're like, I don't want this to end, so I'm going to figure it out. So then you start playing for foundations, and you start playing private parties on yachts and stuff yeah, like yeah. that. And you're like, yeah, this is great, and I'm getting paid for it. And so, you know, he Nall gave me, he had a huge foundation that was on, you know, on the mountainside. And so he gave me, like, free room and board as, like, a 20, early 20 years okay. old. Okay. Unbelievable. And I'm like, I have no bills. I'm just going to. I'll yeah. be here for a while. I'll be here before, for a bit. <laughs> And, you know, I called my mom. I remember because I was supposed to, I was supposed to, you know, I wasn't supposed to stay long. So no. I called my parents. And I'm like, I'm not trapped. I'm not trapped. But I'm not coming home. And you're not doing, you're not doing meth in Monaco. <laughs> no, not meth. <laughs> got a drink. We uh, <laughs> do have some water. Do they even have meth in Europe? Is that a I thing? Say, I think this is what. They're probably meth free uh, in Europe. Yeah, it's only over here. It's only over here. 
It's only over here. These are brownies. All right. Best yacht that you were on in Monaco. I would say yacht story. I mean, we want, we, want, we, want, we want the best yacht story you have in Monaco. Oh, no. And what did Jay-Z do that night? Uh, <laughs> baby giraffes I mean, running off in the water. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, there's no party like a Diddy party. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, shit. It only took this episode uh, to get to the <laughs> city. <laughs> right here. All the yes. baby oil. Uh, yes. <laughs> Okay, so sponsored by co- co- <laughs> <laughs> Johnson and Johnson. Sponsored, sponsored by Johnson and Johnson. Johnson and Johnson. That's wild, too. Man, mm-hmm. think about that. Oh, that is wild. Man. Housing bottles. Oh, That's insane. I mean, it wasn't just baby oil; it was also Luke. Oh, but I mean, it's it's like it's oh, a man. decrepit world that they can have. We talked earlier, and this yeah. is a weird. Like turns, that <laughs> but, <laughs> no. but but you know the fruits of the spirit. Power can corrupt because because yeah. power yeah, and easily. Easily. you're gonna easily. Yeah, what our human nature wants to do mm-hmm. is not what is really good for for you, us. No. You know, right. and there's a morality <laughs> so pool. True. There's can be a morality true. True. pool in right. that world yeah, to figure out like how do I focus on things that um, uh, are good for me. You know, and I, I and, and I've said it here before. I mean, I'm a, I'm a believer, and and those of you that are and you're listening to the show, you know, fast forward like ten seconds. But I am a believer. I love Jesus, yeah. and I really feel uh, um, certain that that a relationship with Jesus makes me better in all my relationships. Mm-hmm. But I think that's so important because otherwise, <laughs> <laughs> you know, well, like I might have a thousand <laughs> bottles. Yeah. Of baby, oh, or so you just get off course, you know, and, and you, you go course, down a path, yeah. and nobody's putting yeah. you in check, yeah. like you're yeah. saying. Yeah. This human nature can yeah. do some crazy yeah, things. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. So so back to the yacht story. Okay, so a <laughs> um, couple boats. Uh, so there's a boat called A. Would uh, two, 200 feet? No. Like 450. Good. So you're, what? you're in. So you're, That's a so you're talking about. Cruise you're on. talking about um, the Russian. Then. We're mm-hmm. t- we're in Russian oligarch. Yeah, oligarch. Right now. Sergey. Yes, yeah, Sergey. Yeah. Okay. Lord, I was gonna say. Yeah. 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 It's How many fun, people man. are yeah. on that? Uh, what? A lot. Fit? I mean. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you had a couple hundred people. people right? You could have. You could have a couple hundred people on that. Yeah. But I mean, to man, four hundred feet's a small. Okay. So here's a fun fact. And again. I'm I'm paraphrasing this. this was that his first boat or was that the second one? Because he had he he's had got a couple. He's it, got right? that. He's got the sailboat. And he's got the follow the ones that follow behind him. They're like the hospitals. Support yachts. Support yachts. Yeah, yeah. those are crazy. Nine. 325 yeah. foot support. So you yachts. were talking about how you had this guy tell you I'm going to fly you out there and then yeah. you, pri- and he's going to go private, you know, yeah. and all that. And you're like, oh, hey, I'm in. I can remember I had a buddy of mine called me one time. He said, hey, listen, I just rented a yacht in South of France and you want to come? I was like. I don't know what day, but yeah, I mean, yeah, you know, yeah. yeah, I'll yeah. make so, it happen. So we 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 had yeah. a yacht. It was the sister yacht to uh, Tiger Woods' uh, privacy. Nice, and it's called One More Toy. It's yeah. a great, great, great yacht. Great um, name, and it was it yeah, was great a great name. name They're great always yacht. great names. Had an yeah. elevator in it and all that. I yeah. mean, it wasn't wasn't four hundred. I think it was one hundred and eighty feet. But but that's um, a but that's a, it was a big ship. Dude, we a had a great time, and we went into Monaco and all yep. that. It was it was a great time. But we saw the guys that would have the support ships. I mean, in fact, our yacht some some parts of it looked like a dinghy. Yeah, one hundred eighty foot to yeah. the four hundred. Everything's relative in life, very, man. That's yes, right. And that's the, a deal bar, guys, is that? Uh, yeah. Deal bar, deal bar, uh, Saudi. Is, 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 okay, uh, yeah, that that's the other one. That well, that's it. Yeah. Bar. Deal bar is the largest. I want to, and again, Mike, I'm not well, really was the, the yacht it world, it was the largest. Was I don't the know largest that it is anymore, but it was the largest. Private yacht, it yeah. was, and there's a lot of cool yachts out now. Like Nord is really cool. We Flying saw Fox we saw cool. Deal bar in, um, I think it was in. Antib, Antib, yeah. yeah, that's where we saw oh, yeah. Deal bar. We we yeah. we it we we docked in there, and um, there it is. Went to uh, there it is yeah that's and that look, here's the yeah, thing insane. that thing looks like a matchbox like just yeah. how that's framed <laughs> out in the ocean but if you like see the videos of like that or like the A boat it's like the person's like this big and it's like dude that's really big yeah, yeah. really it's, big it's huge boats. well and you know it's all electric those sailboats where how they I didn't know how that putting up yeah they, there's no yeah. like cranking anything on that big of a sail so it's no going, yeah it's going up and yeah. down you know I guess they're hitting yeah, a button and, and yeah. knocking it out yep. We yeah. were, uh, but yeah, it's, a, it's so it was, you're, so you were on there a couple hundred people and you, and you, how many, like how long does that last for you to play a lot? Uh, uh, no, night? like three or four hours, three or four hours. You're yeah, playing. yeah. Yeah. And yeah. And then, and then do you yeah. do any like the sing long stuff on mm-hmm. that boat? You don't, it's all mm-hmm. like nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, orchestrated. Or- it's very professional. So it's very it's professional. very in out. That looks like yeah. chaos. No, that looks, what is that? 
Because I feel mm. like Fleetwood, I feel like if I were to bring you out to do a, a show in a piano, mm. I would want it to be like, uh, what's the place in, in uh, the wharf? <laughs> the dueling piano. I would want oh, it to uh, be. Oh, hold on. Rum runners. Rum runners. 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 Rum runners. I would want it to be rum runners. I would want all the singing. I want all the All the sing alongs. Oh, yeah. All and all the and, and this the thing, the thing cool is, too, is, you know, so my first introduction to the yacht world was so the past doors. Um, Michelle and Catherine. Michelle's the, the gentleman. He's there. He's passed now. But his father helped build a lot of the real estate that's in Monaco, right? Okay. So he, I think, and again, there it is. That's there the she, There she blows. Um, that so thing looks crazy. It's like yeah, the Jetsons well, it or looks something. like a submarine, right? It it's does a, look like a submarine. Which yeah. one is that? Is that the that's, that's a. a? That's A. Yeah. And that's yeah. two hundred. That's a lot. No, four hundred feet. Yeah, I want to say it's like. 385 400 that's huge i mean those that, windows what a, those what a different look so it goes down below the the surface a good bit mm-hmm. yeah yeah, yeah, yeah i mean you got like, a little boat shuttle yeah, boat right well, there it's, it's <laughs> yeah right a, that's that's their tender garage so yes. it's got a garage that holds the the, yep. boat. the probably, probably probably shuttles yep. 12 people yep yeah uh, yeah that's the cool uh, oh here we go this is uh yeah there's there, there's the two are. of them yeah yeah right yeah. there beside each other cool stuff yeah, yeah. It's unbelievable. Yeah, you see all kinds of stuff. Uh, well, here's the thing, Monica, man. For sure. Like, it gives you a perspective. Sure. And I think that's what's helped me be a, a, an okay chef, right, yeah. is that you have perspective of, like, so Monaco, you see what the top of the money looks like. Like, the, 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 you don't get any higher. That may yeah. be Dubai, Abu Dhabi, Georgetown. Yeah. You know, and then it gives you, like, perspective of, Okay, well, you know, we've been, and obviously I've seen poverty, then I've seen all the way up to that. Up to that, mm-hmm. yeah. Then it helps you appreciate, like, life, right? Yeah. Really, really, yeah. you know, because some of... Like, well, you could get on that boat right there, mm-hmm. and you could talk with the guy that owns the boat. Mm-hmm. And if you were to really dive in and somehow get into that inner circle, he's going to have the exact same problem. Same. Exact same problem. That the, uh, we the, all deal your with. other five in well, your text messages we all deal are dealing with yeah. as well. And, more. and in fact, he could have more. 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 He may Typically, not even be more. happy. He may not even be Mo happy. More money, more problems. Oh, yeah. That wasn't Diddy. Well, that was Diddy, though. That, that, was, that was Diddy. That was Mace. That was Diddy. to quote Diddy. Yeah. Mo money, He's, more problems. He prophesied a little. Dude, Mace he said did. he wrote all he his did. songs. <laughs> yeah, there's... <laughs> Um, so, so you're in Monaco, you're there for four years and some point, does it take a turn towards, uh, uh, cook, you know, the culinary yeah. world? Well, so, I mean, like, you know, being on the Côte d'Azur, I mean, you know, we, I traveled a ton, right. Mm-hmm. You know, I traveled to Spain, mm-hmm. UK yeah, you're, and it's, right it, it gets to a point yeah. where, you know, I wasn't really well grounded. I'm, I'm, I mean, I used my talent to get where I needed to go. And then, you know, you're on your early twenties. I mean, I feel yeah. like that's my scapegoat is youth yeah. and adolescence, right? Well, it should be. And so then you're going, and I remember we were in Nice, and I woke up, I think a day later in Glasgow, Scotland, and I was just like, how did, how did I, I get, get here? here? Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, and, and then you go through, no, it's fine. It's just what I'm supposed to be doing right now. And sure. then I remember I got there, I think it was in August, and then I left in November. And there was a point where, you know, you live fast and you, you know, do things you probably shouldn't and Mm -hmm. you know it's you know you drink and you know things associated with that and you get into a lifestyle where you're just by the seat of your pants no organization at all Mm -hmm. i mean we're still you know but luckily the talent's there right and you're young and so you can keep rebounding from it yeah and then i woke up one morning i remember dude it was weird it was like uh, it were, there was an AT and T commercial that was on, and it was a it was a I don't know if it was British or or if it was something from the states. No, it was T Mobile, and it was about everybody was this choir at this airport, and it was singing "Coming Home," right? And there were the, some of the lyrics, and it was so pretty. And I'm like, nope, I'm done. And I didn't call anybody. I you just left. Came home. I left. You just left everybody that you everybody. knew in Europe. You just everybody. Gone. Yeah, I mean uh-huh. it's. I knew I had to leave. It was time. Yeah, it's time. The, the, I mean, the group around mm-hmm. wasn't the right group. No. It was ready to go. You, I, you, 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 had, you had done that thing. Yep. And so I flew home. Um, it's amazing how sometimes moments in life that you remember that, that, that pivotal point. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. Because it was stark. I mean, yeah. it, I woke up. I'm like, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Yeah. I'm done. I'm done. So you came back home. It wasn't like a thing of like, oh, I got to let it go. No, no. Yeah. I'm, well, I wanted to go home. We've all had so those good. kind of moments. You know, it's and like, it's well, right. you either you have them switch. or you don't, though. Some people don't have them, and then so then I was, it goes God, this is, world. God will put up a, a thing, and he'll use a commercial on television and say, 
I'm going to get yeah. this boy right Well, now. everything yep. can be used, and right? I can everything use can him be used. for something else. Everything yep. can be used, hey, but you've got to be in the right you got to be in the right frame of mind. Yeah. Yeah, and you've got to hit that. Yeah, point. you got to see it. You have to hit that point. You have to look. He'll take you ninety. C.S. Lewis said he'll take you ninety nine steps, but you got to take one. Yeah, that's right. You got to realize. Ooh, that. that's yeah. good. Yeah. Ooh, that's good. Yeah. No, I think it's ninety nine uh, problems in a. Really? Oh, well, that good. was before. That <laughs> that's was before. another. One. Oh, okay, sorry. That's another one. Oh, that did he? He said. He said there's hundred steps. Hundred steps between Meth. you and Jay Z. I think you, he'll take ninety nine, yeah, but you got to take the one. And it's yeah. and I, and like I knew, I knew, and and I was still. I mean, I was twenty six. Yeah. And so I came home and I was like, what am I going to do now? Yeah. And you slept so, your French girl. But South Carolina. <laughs> I left everybody. Yeah, I slept the whole French Seriously, Carolina. how do you live that lifestyle? And then, you know, the, the South United that's States tough. is amazing, but it's not Monaco. That's tough. Right. That's a, yeah. It's not that Switzerland. A, that was the tough rebound because, again, right. yeah. this, you know, the spoiled brat part comes out and you're like, yeah. what you know, I, I had, do, yeah. I, mean, I was in was, Monaco. I was fortunate to have and be around people I'd wanted for nothing. I was on a yacht with a guy with giraffes. Mm. And then you get back yeah. and, and I love this <laughs> and I love this area. But then like you're kind of sitting and like, well, I guess I'll go to Starbucks at Destin Commons. Yeah. yeah. And it's just like, yeah. man, that's tough. Yeah. But yeah. you know what? It's the humility to say. This is where I'm supposed to be. But here's the thing. You get to go to Starbucks on the Emerald Coast, where it's the cleanest water in Florida. You're still in Paris. And and, and sugar white sand beaches, right? So it's that reframing, right? Reframing. And here's the thing, too. It's it's reframing what the expectation is. Yeah. It's reframing of, like, visual landscape of, like, what my life's going to be like. Sure. And so, you know, my my mom has always been a really big, strong point in my life. You know, mm. my, like my moms mom's a hero. Right? Moms are we great. all love our right? moms. Moms are amazing. And she's, you know, she's she's actually she's now the GM of the hotel, the Hilton. No, oh, cool. Yeah, no, that's kidding. awesome. Yeah. You're gonna see your mom during work that's days. That's awesome. Uh, kind of. You're back yeah. in the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but mom's still mom. You know. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Until so she's not, and yeah, then she's yeah. like, "Dude, you better get your shit together." You're yeah, yeah, yeah. Fired. yeah, 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 yeah. So, I hear this guy. so you know, they like, get rid of cigars. I, 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 get, I get home, and I'm like, I don't really know what I'm gonna do. And there's this girl that I've, you know, I was like rebounded from. I was like, I was gonna, I gotta start something new. I can't, I just can't. I had to cut all ties, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And then she was like, "Well, I'll, we'll, we'll do, we'll do dinner, but you gotta cook dinner." And I'm like. I don't, know. I don't know. I don't know how to cook. Yeah. I, really? At this point, okay. I don't, at this okay. point I had no idea. I mean, I did. Like, I could throw a bunch of stuff. In hot, the dogs. Box. <laughs> hot dogs. 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 You know, but, but she was, like, mm-hmm. super pretty. And you, you want to impress her. Yeah. 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 And yeah. you're like, well, you know, it's not a good time in my life to do this. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so I held her off for a couple right. weeks, couple weeks. And I'm like, look. I, so I asked my mom. I'm like, look. I just want to. Just give me the job. I know that y'all are down. It's summertime. Summertime's wild as cigars. We all know that. Yeah, I know yeah. you guys are short staffed. So your mom was here though on this coast. When you come back, she's yeah, here. Yeah. Not not in South Carolina. Anymore. No, she's here. So she's here. Yeah. Okay. She's at so work at back the here. Yeah. You're back here. Okay. All right. And I'm falling, she I'm said back. no. She was like, no, no. you're not. There's no way I let. Because I was. I yeah. did not, you had, you had, like, you're not qualified. You're knucklehead. You're not a, you're a reflection well, I, yeah. on me. And yeah. you're, you're no way. That's you're a not good ready mom. for this. That's and I thought mom. it was she was going to be like, yeah, no problem. That's so a good mom. Young. Yeah. She's good no, mom. She's, yeah, she's exactly. like, you're not ready for it. Yeah. yeah. And so a year goes by. This girl and I start to stop talking. And then I she calls me and she said, hey, cigars is short staffed. And do you want to come in for an interview? I'm like, I'm there. There. Yeah. And so I didn't, I was so jazzed because I had only eaten there twice, right? You know, I'd yeah. taken girls to eat. I was like, I can't cook for you, but I can take you out to somewhere nice. Yeah. And then you see, see the chefs yeah. and the kitchen move for yeah. the first time. It's like a patron. And it's, it's and then it's, you're right. It is. Yeah. It's it like is. an orchestra, artwork. right? And you're like, it's man. Crazy. Those are cool. Those are those pros. Are, those are They're cool pros. dudes. Those are pros. They're pros. They're pros. And this yeah. runs like, yeah, and then everybody behind that line is pro. It's pro, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah hundred percent. Hundred percent. Yeah, it's and a it's a difference you can see behind your line that's like none other. Yeah, that's it. Well, it's, it's, it's they, none. Dude, they they get up and they're like, we're gonna go do all this over again. Yeah, all over again. And yeah, and that and so like she got me the job. I started out uh, just doing prep work. That's Man. awesome. So you're so you're having to learn knife. Didn't even. But have you're having to learn knife skills. Knife skills. 
on the go. <laughs> you, my fingers are still <laughs> here. Were you chopping <laughs> up and down, or did you even know the no, curl? No, I, I mean, would chop like this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's me. You're taking knuckles off. <laughs> I'm doing more like this. You can, if you look, if you look at my finger, I remember it was like my first year in. I was cutting a bell pepper, and I took the plush off, and I'm like, all right, cool. I, I've made it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And yeah. then, I, as soon as I said that into my hand this oh, knife went oh yeah like bad and it my finger stitches was like and everything stitches. right no super glue super glue yeah super glue that's the stitch of the world yeah. yeah services that's right it's right then you gotta go no, dude you gotta keep shopping. so then the next day i because you compensate so you're holding yeah. things worse you cut it again right yeah. and then you know i'm like all right and then i cut the tip of my finger off i'm in the er oh Doctor my gosh the trash can we're not gonna because he's well it grows back right if it's a if it's a small tip a little it does if if it's, a, if it's right at the end, it'll grow back, right? You can see my finger slanted. Yeah. It is? Oh, it is. Yeah. yeah. It is. I don't have any feeling in it. So I had yeah. a buddy of mm-hmm. mine. We were in the Bahamas, and I had a I had a 63-foot uh, motor yacht that, that we had in the <laughs> Bahamas. That was a fun we, boat. It was a fun boat. And the kids grew up, and we weren't on anymore and sold it and at, at the perfect time. I mean, COVID, everybody wanted a boat. Everybody. <laughs> so I sold it at the perfect time. But we had a C3. My brother-in-law had a 55-foot, and we were down in the Bahamas for the winter, and we had our boats, like, side-by-side side in this one marina, and we were hanging out before we were about to take off into the Exumas. And uh, we, he had a couple on his boat. She was at their, like, VIP room, which, if you know anything about boat, all the doors, they, they tend to go inside uh-huh. so that if the water were to come in, it hold it in that room sort of thing. Um, but they're sealed tight. And her husband had his hand, like on the door and i guess he said something smart to her and she was like yeah she's she's from she's from europe so i think you know maybe a quicker temper or whatever and he <laughs> grabbed that door and slammed it Them and fingers. took the tip oh. of his finger Slicing bang, right, off. right off and she it's comes like running up the top of the boat nobody's out there everybody's getting ready for dinner and i think i was ready so i'm yeah. sitting on the back of my <laughs> My, my with a cocktail. With a cocktail, <laughs> just chilling. And she's running up in this panic going like, Jason, do you know where the nearest hospital is? And I'm like, nope. <laughs> Duct tape. No. Sure no. no. <laughs> I mean, we found it. And he yeah, got there. Man. But when he got there, they uh, uh, fortunately we had somebody else on the yacht that, that was worked at a doctor's office that said, you need to call in. Like, I guess they took pictures and let them know don't yep. let them put that tip back on in, in the Bahamas and his was just like a thread at the top it really kind of oh. grew back yeah and what he the, had the, he had fingernails and all that kind of grew back so and he's, he's was, very fortunate and I cut it off and so the, of course the piano player is like oh no uh, yeah. oh. and then oh. so I'm like I'm like icing it I keep yeah, it on yeah. the finger get to yeah. sacred art ER and they're like mm, we're not gonna need that anymore and yeah, like literally away, slow-mo right? in the trash I'm like and you're just like that's my a piano pe- that's a piece of my body <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, and so like, so you still play the piano, though, right? Yeah, I can play every day. Pro- man. That's awesome. That's yeah, great. I have to. Yeah, you know, yeah, because I can't like. That's one part of my. But life. it, it didn't. Like it did, you didn't feel like I was reaching for a key. <laughs> nah, no, no. Well, and it's you like kept messing it. Yeah. Yeah. It's muscle memory, right? It is, yeah. and it's yeah. you learn to compensate until it heals. Yeah, yeah. So so it all healed up, but you, yeah, I mean. Good. And and so those really are your tattoos, other than one you told us about earlier. How did you we, get to we, the? Can we, you talk to me about whoa, fantasy whoa, whoa. football? We, yeah. we need to we need can to we dive in? into some fantasy football. It's fantasy you guys football are, season. It is fantasy oh, football man, season. We're gonna the do game's it. on right now. We're going to do it because you've got a fantasy football team that you. How many people yeah. in your fantasy football league? So it's eight this year. It's a short. It's a short. That's, that's my, a my very competitive well. league. Yeah, it is. But that's even more. That's even more. Competitive. Right? You see these yeah, 16, Oh, 20. my God. I got a 12% chance. Oh, oh you got a better oh, no, It's not going right oh, You got the night good. games. You got the night games, right? So the loser of his league. league. You yeah. have the night games. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me about this league. Is it? It's a serious league where y'all out there that do the fantasy football. And, I, man, back in the day I played, man, it was – I had four teams all consuming it. Yeah, I get it. But now but, it's easier to manage, right? It is. Yeah. Internet made it all different. Yeah. It's it's super easy now. Yeah. But there's these leagues where the it's not so much winning the league, it's not losing, losing the losing league. league. Yeah. So tell me about what happens if if you lose in your league. Man, so <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> I wish we had talked this when I was winning. Um, you got to get a tat. 
You got to get a tat. Okay, why, you why, you've, why, you've had a loss in this I've league. Had, you've yeah. So you have yeah, a tat that yeah. you didn't want to get, yeah. but you had to get. Yeah. But it's but you don't have any ta- tattoos on your body. No. Other just than this one. one. This just one. The one. The yeah. loser tattoo. Yeah, we'll let you. We'll, we'll let you determine if you want to so stay where. So the the group of guys I was talking about yeah. earlier, right? Yeah. We are real high stakes betters. Right? We're getting together tonight. That's and awesome. So, you know, all not, local guys. Uh, no, one's in Tallahassee, but the other guys are local. Yeah. Um, and, uh, so yeah. And I keep being, I keep losing all the stuff. I That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you? You're only three weeks in, four weeks in, you got time, right? Yeah. Uh, but like, it, but, but, but these are the kind of guys like the inner, Oh no. What popped you, up? Who got hurt? You need hurt? to make some trades or something, bro. You need to make no, some I've changes. No, I've done them. I've done it. And here's the thing. Like I'll say, I can't sleep at night. Yeah. It's not the, re- <laughs> it's not the restaurant that keeps me up at more. It's the stupid fan. Yeah. I don't want a tattoo. I don't no. want a tattoo. <laughs> no. Cause so, okay. So. Story, long story short, I met all these guys at like a, a, in a, a league softball game, right? Okay. And so, you know, they're they're, it, but I show up because I was, I was like the, I guess you have to have like an eleven person quorum, right? Or you okay. forfeit eleven okay. or twelve, right? Okay. And so, uh, I because sh- I had just finished playing piano that night, okay. And so I show up in like a suit. And, oh my goodness! And nice. spray pan my hair, or spray 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 hair spray my hair spray, yeah. to get it to go back to okay. go right. Just you know, I mean, it was young, right? Yeah, yeah. This but like, you're not ready for softball. No. Yeah. No. Nice. I've got dress shoes on. Nice. Yes. I have no cleats, nothing. And okay. this is a really serious league. Oh, okay. Yeah. And they're like, oh man, who's this guy? And I, I remember I get there, and I'm like, you have oh, clothes to change into? No. No. Wow. What are you doing playing in a suit? What are you doing playing nice. in a suit? I did, they, I did, you were the last. Get, you were the last guy they called. Yeah. The last. Guy. <laughs> yeah, you were the first the la- guy. The last called. guy they right, called. That's right, the that's last right. guy they called. So, I'm, they, and if you ask any of them, they're. But they're what first. a bro to show up Should in I a suit. Up? Hey, <laughs> to show you up showed in up. A I showed suit. up. I, and I never knew any of them. By the like, way, that's half the battle. Young show people show up, showing up, just showing up. And so I never met any of them. I, I kind of yeah. met Jordan a little bit. He was the youth yeah. pastor at Destiny, but never met Vic, never met Phil. Or They're Johnny. giving you the biggest ribbing ever in oh, the suit. They right? started packing up. <laughs> Yes, I they're done. done. Like they're done. The, I, we, had a, we had a 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 runner at first and a runner at third, and we're one point down. And okay. I was the batter. They were in a suit. They're still packing up. They're still in packing up. In a suit. In a suit. <laughs> in a suit. That no, gives you a lot like, of confidence. Like, uh, like no, you no, had no, the no. jacket off, no. sleeves roll up. You're sh- you're playing like Obama now. Right? So, so, I, so I so I get there and they're like, oh no, this is the guy. This is the guy. <laughs> Is this the guy? <laughs> and so, you know, go into the dugout and they're like, you know, they're packing up stuff. And I'm like, well, wait a minute. I'm get, give me some credit. Give me a bat. So there was a big old bag of Skittles on the ground. And of course, I was like, I was like, hey, watch this. So I grabbed the bag of Skittles and shoved the whole bag in my mouth and go out the bat and knock it over the fence and hit a car. Oh, <laughs> my In the suit? In the suit, yeah. Oh, in the, in the suit. suit. And then so ever from, from then on out, my name's Skittles from them, yeah. Skittles. So that so name is stuck. Yep, that's the nickname. That's gotcha. the nickname. It's stuck. Skittles. So how's the tattoo go? We were in New Orleans, okay. and I had lost. Uh, of course, we're rampantly betting all the time, and, you know, these guys are big fantasy guys, big, big fantasy guys. So they wrote me in on my lack of knowledge of football. Yeah. So we bet on football. But then the double or – so my, my, my team lost, but I was like, double or nothing. Nice. And, and so the, the, the double or nothing. But yep. the double or nothing, double or was, nothing. A, was a tat. Tat. And it, was, it, was, it wasn't just a tat. It was a blind tat. I didn't get any say. It couldn't be on my face or arms, but anywhere yeah, else anywhere it could else go. Could go. And I'm a hard, I like to think I'm a hard bro. So I was like, yeah. let's I'm go. In. Let's I'm go. in. Let's go. We play 18 holes. I tanked the first, the, the first, no, it was the second hole. Water, water, oh, water. Yeah. All so, downhill, yeah. Oh, the whole game was thrown off. And I golf, right? Yeah. And so we went to this, this tattoo parlor in New Orleans. And I remember so, laying down, lay this down. guy tattooed me. His name is Bear. And a bear. What it a was great a three tattoo hour, three hour tattoo. Color Gee, tats. color tat, color, color tat, tat. taste because, rainbow. because, taste because it's rainbow. Skittles, baby. Yeah. And then, <laughs> and, and, and then, uh, I was like, I'm thinking, you know, I think the worst part was just going through it blind, not knowing what it was. Yeah, that's and great. I'm like, Oh, it's going to be, it's going to oh, be. Oh, so yeah. So I, you stand up and I look around and I'm like, that's oh, great. Oh, no way. They're going to so, put yeah. a bag of Skittles on my body. Yeah. And then, <laughs> and so it's a one to one fun pack size tropical Skittles. That's, that's on my so right good. butt cheek. Yeah. Tropical Skittles. I'm not going to lose anymore. That's yeah. so good. Sponsored by Skittles. <laughs> <laughs>
Burns <laughs> and Johnson and Johnson <laughs> baby oil. <laughs> well, at least at least it wasn't a meth lab. That's the next tattoo. <laughs> Drink. Uh, next good. tattoo is a job. So talking about bad habits, you know, there was a um, there was a guy that's wrote. This guy wrote, uh, gosh, he wrote like 13 books of the Bible. Some say 14 books of the Bible. Mm. So lay off your Bible thumpers out there, you know. Mm. I get it. But he said, I don't really understand myself for I want to do what is right, but I don't do it. Instead, I do what I hate. This guy named Paul, and he put it in Romans 7. But it, and he's written almost half the books of the New In fact, I think it's it's... Over half the books are almost more than anybody else in the New Testament. 27 books in the Bible in the New Testament. So almost half of the books in the New Testament he's written. Probably more books of the Bible than anybody else has written, which is, of course, a collection of books that we call the Bible. But I don't really understand myself. <laughs> For I want to do what is right, but I don't do it. Instead, I would do what I hate. And that happens all the time. And, you know, um, I mean, such a, such a big guy in our faith world gave us such in great he's given us such great and i mean this guy's written so many books in the bible gives us such great insight into what it is like to try to live a life of faith mm-hmm. but such great insight into struggle mm-hmm. into joy and into peace of our faith and but he struggled with like we all do. some bad habits just like we all yep. do and wrote this why do i in fact other people say why do i do the things i don't want to do but i do them anyway, anyway. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah is what they would say but how do you break some of these bad habits? Like, what are the things that we, we do? How do you? How would you say, like, if you, you were picking up bad habits, you had something going on in Europe that you felt like, I've got to go. Like, how do you break that? Sometimes is it get away? Sometimes is it starting to do something new? Like, what are some things that you can do? You're in a chef. You, you, you're executive chef at Seagars, and you've got people on your line, and you see a bad habit. How do you get them to break it? Um. Life, what time work, of day. whatever. Well, yeah, yeah and it's uh, for for my for the, my culinary team. It's you know we always want to be the best version of ourselves consistently, yeah. right? Because oh, that's a great that's a great way to say it. Not somebody else, but of yourself. Of yourself, consistent. Yeah, yeah I think if you try to be somebody else, then you cheat yourself oh, out yeah. of your yeah. own identity, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I, that's one of my things I preach in the kitchen is to be the best version of yourself consistently. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, because if you're not growing, you're staying the same. Yeah. And oh, yeah. right. And you're not we, growing, you're dying. And there was somebody, mm-hmm. there was something that happened last night. And again, you know, I, my temper, I like to try to keep in mm-hmm. check, you know, is, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. you know, the weight of, of, of the restaurant and it, you know, I go to sleep with it every night. Right. Yeah. And so I'm real, you know, my guys, believe it or not, the, the, the bad habits don't really, you don't see a lot of them yeah. and, and they yeah. correct it quickly when they do. Yeah. And because like, look, if it gets the, if it gets in the way of, what we do day in day out then it's got to go yeah. and it's it's like cutting off a piece of you right you know yep. sometimes you got to separate and it's not easy but it's a necessity for mm-hmm. what, yeah. what we do um i think for myself as far as like bad habits i think one of one of my detrimental habits is like i suffer from imposter syndrome bad mm. bad and you recognize right? it though a bad kind of like paul did yeah i yeah. recognize yeah. what i'm doing yeah. but well, why do i do this and it's and, and, here, and here's the thing, and again, this is candid, whether you want to keep yeah. it or not. But yeah. I've, the more success the restaurant gets, yeah. the worse it gets. Mm-hmm. You know I, what I mean? Because I don't sense. feel like a, I don't feel like I'm you I don't, belong. I don't feel like I belong. Not because anything the community has no, done, right, or right. because so it's an insecurity, yeah, sort of thing yeah. that just in yourself. It, it, yeah, can I ever get there? I mean, I think some of that's probably healthy because it's driving you forward sure. to constantly sure. reach, right? And then yeah. some of it can be a crutch. Sure. So how do you get through that, though? What are the things that you're doing to say? Because cause, cause you haven't, as far as I can tell, you haven't gone into a closet, you know, yeah, right. shut the door and, yeah. and cried, maybe in your private life. But but on the stage, you've owned the stage. Oh, yeah. I mean, I've seen, we talked about how you did this with this collaboration with uh, Justin Gaffrey yeah. and, and the desserts and, and, and all the great things you're doing, the accolades, the front of this magazine and um, you know, you just came back from Chicago and an yep. incredible uh, uh, deal up there. So you're not shying away from the spotlight. No. But you're telling me you have this. What are you doing to get over there? I think it takes time to um, – it's going to be preachy. I think it takes time to love yourself. No, no. Within, self-love's good. Yeah. You know what I mean? Which is really hard sometimes. It's hard. And I think it's it's harder as men to do that. Oh, you know? very much. Because, you know, I think – I know I'm very hard on myself day in day yeah. out, but be, but because I you know I have the 
you know, the DNA of a provider and to my team, yeah. you know, I'm a provider to them yeah. to curate them to be the best versions of themselves. Right. I've got to curate the front of the house to be the best versions of themselves. So there's a lot of dependency, I think. Yep. So I, I, I think it's the, I don't want to say it's the enemy, but I think it's, it's insecurity that creeps in to, I think it is the enemy though, to say I, that I think it's, I think it's fair to say that because it's not something because you're you're hitting all of these goals yeah it is something that's causing you to say like you can lean into that or you can lean into what like chicago was tough oh yeah Yeah. dude i mean chicago was tough new york was tough because chicago and new york i mean you 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 got here they are fantasy football here they are again are Are those your boys are they your boys yeah put them on the pod put them on the pod put them on the pod you put so, just hold the speaker up, hold it, hold it up oh, to the yeah. hold it up to the mic, hold it up to the mic. Tell them they're on a pod. They might be on. Kids. All right, so guys, you guys are on the podcast. Uh, What's up, boys? How what are you doing? Do? What's up? <laughs> We're here with Skid- We're here with Skittles. Skittles. <laughs> so be very careful what, what you, you say. say. <laughs> no, you could drop multiple. F-bombs. What are y'all doing? If are we talking about fantasy, I'm, I'm gonna hang up. Uh, probably rallying at five thirty. Yeah, but I gotta go. <laughs> but I gotta go. <laughs> but I gotta go. Huh? I'll I'll come pick you up. <laughs> yeah, I gotta go. Bye. That's good. That's, good. That's our first That's call. In. That's our first That's call. In. Calling, right? First call. In. Yeah. Yeah. So um, yeah, and I think like you know, you you got to give yourself a little grace, right? Yeah. You know, you you, gotta, well, you do have to give it, but that's I but that's part a whole lot that's of part of leaning, but that's part of leaning into that side, right? Yeah. Is is because you. You can believe what the enemy, some, you know, the, you know old Saturday Night Live, like, Satan. <laughs> yeah. you, can believe, yeah. you can believe what the enemy is telling you about yourself, or you can believe in what, you know, for me, my faith, mm-hmm. you know, what Jesus says about me, who loved me so much that he went to his death for my life. That's yeah. right. You know, yeah. and, and I can, be, I can lean into that. I in. can lean into that and say, this is where I'm at. Because, yeah. because, you're not it's 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 so interesting for you to say that because i felt that way too yep. and i've talked to so many people i remember some guy came to me the other day and he was like talking to how he's all these business people and they were saying all these acronyms you know acronyms that that he didn't know you know mm-hmm. which happens when you have an mba mm-hmm. everybody feels like they need to speak in an acronym you know yeah. <laughs> and, and so <laughs> they do that point. But I told him, I said, you know, my superpower, I feel like when I sit in a boardroom is I always start off like I'm just an old garbage hauler, man. I love it. I'm just old garbage Perspective. Man. Yeah. You know? And I think it's that's and, a- and so And so you're going to tell me something with an acronym, I'm going to make you explain it. Yeah. Yeah. And explain why you think you're right. That's my yeah. superpower. I understand what they're saying. Sure. Yeah. But I want to I want to make you explain it so you can. But I've had those insecurities yeah. as well where I've sat oh. at a table I'm like, do I belong here? Even those guys like yeah. I, yeah. so Johnny, uh, one of the guys on there. So yeah. he used special forces and that, and he was the he was a private equity fan. Was guy. that Johnny? It was. Oh, <laughs> that was the, that was the fingernail guy. Finger, yeah. He could he could get yes. like he could yeah he could kill fingernail you. clippers yes. or something. Yes. Yeah. Special yeah. forces, yeah. But he also was so then he got out of the military and then went to Citibank, did yeah. private equity, right? Yeah. And he was he just, speaks an acronym some. KPI. But he knows it, but he knows it. What's, a, what's a KPI, what's a, yeah, 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 bro? Yeah. What the hell? Yeah. What is a KPI? Yeah. And so then, yeah. as like a chef, I'm like, I'll I'll go and utilize. It. I'm like, you gotta. Yeah, you got to you know KPI. You know KPI. I don't even know what KPI. You know, <laughs> form, you know, what, you know what your R, you know right. what your ROI is. Yeah, ROI. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But it's just like, dude, yeah. you got a good point. Yeah. Like you, you have to build a foundation that works for you. Yeah, and then you make other people operate off of it. That's a good way. Yeah, I think you know. I also mm. think sometimes getting over bad habits is one is 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 self awareness is really sure. big, right? So if you're if you're aware of it, if you're aware of it, and then you can start focusing on like, yeah, I think it's ninety days to kick a bad habit, or hundred twenty days. Yeah. So you start focusing on things of that nature. Yeah. I think journaling is really good. You were talking about how you play yeah. uh, piano every That's day. That's so crazy so you brought up journaling. There's, I think all of those things can be meditations very good. I yeah. mean, my prayer life, I mean, uh, is is important to me, but I would encourage even meditation I think is really good. I mean, uh, my faith says to think on these things, what, what is true, what is just, what is right, you know, all of those things. So th- meditation has been a thing in, in faith and outside of faith. So I think all of those things can be really good things to center yourself, to, to start the day off with something that's different than, you know, um, indulging on. And I, I have a bad habit because I get up and I grab my phone, right? And I go right to social media and all this yeah, stuff. Right. If I could find another way to, like, they, to, for me, that might be a bad habit for me because I need to, you know, 
It depends Find on who you're friends. following, I guess. <laughs> it ain't Diddy. It ain't Diddy. <laughs> yeah. That's a good point, you follow me? Yeah. But, it's, but, it, but it's crazy that that's because I was thinking about that the other day. Like when I wake up, my first thing is to open my phone yeah. and see what's going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't. Yeah. It, you got to break that. Or my coffee, they were saying, yeah, yeah. Uh, what's it called? A detox. It's a. Social digital detox. detox. Digital, digital detox, detox yeah. or a serotonin detox or a dopamine, yeah. dopamine, like dopamine detox. detox. Yeah, yeah. That's a big Dude. thing right now, yeah. It, yeah. I, but what would it do for us? Well, you know, I just talked to somebody the other day that I've, I've almost thought about it myself is, is uh, they went to a ayahuasca. Mm. So they went and did ayahuasca. DMT. And it really set them, like it set their dopamine chart back where it gave yeah. them even more drive to go. And I was like, yeah. I'm not even checking in on well, here's ayahuasca. <laughs> I, well, yeah, we, we so we're back on you know ten dollar podcast. We, have, <laughs> dude, we say it every episode. No, little, little ten dollar podcast. Yeah, we're gonna have a ten dollar studio. $10. Paper mache. Yeah, yeah. Wait till Chef sees our no, new studio. Hey, I can't yeah, wait till one the of the road to perfection. <laughs> <laughs> we were just talking about ayahuasca, and I was like, hey, that's from my people, man. The 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 uh, natives here, the and native yeah. Native American. Hey, we don't use that word. I'm a Seminole. I can say it. Yeah, can, you oh, are can you? No, I mean, I mean no, what no, word can you not no, use now? All the he words. Said engines. Engines. He said oh. engines. I said, you can't say engines. <laughs> oh, yeah, that oh. one's a, They're like, canceled. <laughs> canceled. Canceled right now. <laughs> we, we were canceled we like, our first podcast. I like yeah. Native American Indian. I am one yeah. 62nd I don't know. Cherokee Indian. Nice. Yeah, I saw I'm getting you a 23 of me. Nice. We're going to do it on this show. We're going to do it on this show. Here's another so, thing, because I'm not a big conspiracy theorist, right? No, but I'm, I'm I where you're going, because I'm the same way. That's why I haven't done it. But... Why is Diddy being in the news so much? What happened at Twenty Three and Me over the last couple of weeks? They, they everybody resigned. Connected. Yeah, they, they had a they resigned. had a data breach. They had a data breach. I think so the whole board know. resigned. The whole board of Twenty Three and Me resigned. No way. Yeah, look it up. They oh were trying to go. Goodness. They went public. They lost like five hundred. That was a ton of money. I always feel like I always feel like I'm going to do a Twenty Three and Me, and because of me, some second cousin twice removed <laughs> is going to get arrested for something. Well, I just don't want to be a snitch, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, it also came out the day after the second assassination attempt, also, right? Oh man! I don't yeah. Yeah. Now we've gone so down the rabbit hole. Oh, now we've gone down. There's the rabbit actually hole. podcasts. It was the day that. after. Here you that. go. <laughs> I mean, come on, guys. The only thing I'm going to say about that: the first attas- assassination attempt, Google Sasquatch water tower. Uh, oh yeah, 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 we saw that. Crazy. That video evidence is pretty bad. Yeah. Um, so moving right along. <laughs> when that's I like see that. the I, hurricane stuff right now, right? They're not yeah, yeah. talking about that, and it's like, oh, Iran just shot all these missiles into Israel. Like, <laughs> why well, nobody's talking about? <laughs> well, I'm not North laughing Carolina. at it, but yeah, yeah, dude. I mean, there's always. You ever seen you swordfish? Can, with Travolta, uh, you know, haven't seen. It. That he was said the best you know, older movie. Yeah, that's, that's the older movie. No, I yeah. said it was yes. the best. The, he, one of the best lines he ever said is, "The government is like Houdini." They really they are. You look yeah. over here. Yeah, while exactly. Doing something. Well, there is there is some of that. I mean, I don't trust a politician anymore. No, I, mean, I don't trust anything me, ever. Nobody trusts a politician. I don't trust either you, side. Dude. I kind of trust JB. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you can yeah. trust JB. I don't know, you trust JB. <laughs> you ever play poker with him, Brandon? <laughs> I don't play poker on Monday. So you trust JB. It's, it's the only place you should not trust me. We have we have the longest running poker table in the Emerald Coast. What? Juice's table. Yeah, fifteen years. Fifteen years running. How many guys do you guys run? Uh, anywhere it's got from thirty on anywhere the text from, thread. Yeah. Uh, over thirty on the text thread. We, we average we about from, nine or ten. Gotta have, gotta have at least no six to play. Every Monday. Six to play every Monday. But we, we'll, have, we'll have two tables. Don't come with, good. Don't come with your invited. scrub game. You're in. Don't whoa, come with whoa, your scrub whoa, game. Whoa, he whoa. has a tattoo of Skittles. Skittles. <laughs> All right. I don't know. I don't He's, know if we like this. Yes. <laughs> I don't know, bro. Monday, Monday nights. We do so, Monday speaking nights. of this, why are you Monday just nights? going uh, right and now? Lay your money on the table. Uh, what's the, what's the buy-in? So, we, we are very, we have people from every walk of life. So, we, we are we really anywhere do. from $50 to $100 for a tournament deal, and then we play cash games. It's usually 60 bucks is the average so buy-in. 60 bucks on is the average buy-in. Last Monday is Every Monday. Every Monday. You know what's crazy? Yeah. So it's the really restaurant, just for fun. So the it's restaurant for four fun. day four months out of the year runs a six days work cycle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We just got our Mondays back. Come on, baby. Right, yeah. so. so Monday nights, you could do it. Yeah. Word. Okay. All right. I'll come right. watch. Yeah. But I, you don't play poker? I he do. feels like it would yeah. be a sixty dollar uh just, we've had, we've invited him I know. Love it. many invites. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. It's just, uh, do you got the does it get serious? Yeah. Not really, no. No, it's lighthearted. You have people that wear sunglasses at the table. 
no headphones, no, headphones, sunglasses no sunglasses are banned, all that crap. Yeah. Like, really? Yeah. No, no. We've had Good somebody. For you, dude. Somebody yeah. showed up once to do that. We're like, you never playing again. Peace. Yeah. Peace. No. Yeah. 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 Jesus, I've had to kick out like yeah. five Good, or six though. people. Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. the commish. He's no, the we're commish. all like friends and stuff. We all work together. We do stuff yeah, together. Yeah, yeah. It's, no, it's, it's not really about the guys. money. It's a good cool. group of guys. Yeah, it's cool. not a money thing. Like, no, no, no. I mean, you want to win, right? You want to win for bragging it's rights. It's more bragging yeah. rights. We do yeah. points. We have a year in tournament. It's a serious deal. Yeah. But now I was talking Clay at the Bo, wedding Clay last Bo night. Claybo over he used to play. He doesn't play. He's played once he's this played year. Once this year. He used to be a Krakens, big player with yeah. it, but he's the guy that's uh, Krakens. Him and his wife have Krakens. Krakens on Thirty A. Yeah, uh, great. Cool. Man, that's a great cool. brunch spot. Too. It, it is a play. good brunch spot, dude. Bunch of shout dude, out it's Krakens. awesome. Shout out to but, Krakens. But yeah, yeah, it's a great. I mean, Brad. Yeah. I don't know if he knows Brad and Brad. Uh, Brad and Stan, the boat captain. Boat captain. Stan was a boat captain. Emerald Lagasse's boat captain for yeah, yep, yep, yep. Brad was wait, wait. Brad was Emerald Lagasse's boat captain for years. So you know after that. Old boat, like it. The, the yeah, El Brad Dente. was the Brad was the boat captain. El Dente, El Dente Brad yeah. was the boat captain at El Dente. But there's another big, big boat. He got the that. Hollises own it. Uh, yeah, he, Ronnie Hollis. Ronnie, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Ronnie, Ronnie, Ronnie plays played with Monday. Us. Ronnie yeah, played I, with Ronnie, Ronnie I, did a, I did a dinner yeah, on their boat, Monday. dude. They're yeah, great he told people. me about yeah. it. He yeah, told me yeah, yeah, super good people. He, yeah. In fact, I had dinner with him on Wednesday or yeah. two last Tuesday. Ronnie and, Ronnie and Jamie. Jamie. Yeah, yeah. And, and his wife are awesome. Yeah, they're great folks. Yeah, they. In fact, I was telling him you were coming on the pod. Cool. Cool. And they were like, they were, they were telling me how you you did the dinner for them. Yeah, dude, that was. I so think we had four world. of the guys yeah, on the world. podcast, right? Colin was on. He, Colin, he plays, doesn't Colin's live here played, now. Played but, some poker with us. Yeah, yeah. and then yeah. Uh, Mike Brandon and Stan. It's Mike, a small town. Bro. It's, it's, it's a small town. town. Yeah. Ninety three thousand. It's the biggest small town. Ninety thousand residents that live here, I think. And most County? of them are in Walton County. There's like thirty thousand probably in South Walton. At least we got about five million tourists. At least in five million tourists. Yeah, no way. Ninety thousand people in our county. If you ever talk to, I think it's Kelly Cart. Clark, Kelly, Kelly, wow, Kelly, Kelly Carter, Kelly Clarkson. Oh. No, <laughs> Kelly we'll get her on the podcast with, uh, with, with, TD, with TDC, the South Walton. Yeah, yeah, stuff. yeah. She'll throw out some numbers like bed tax and yeah. you mm-hmm. know, like the, the P, how many yeah, people yeah. come here, and it's like yeah. what? It's, it's insane. insane we got to talk, we gotta talk to her about. Yeah, we need to bring just her even this because they're all about marketing in the yeah. area. In June. We should bring her on. Yeah, dude, she's great. Yeah, we should bring her on. We she did we just Chicago with her last week. She is like the biggest reporter of just like a, such a great area and yeah. she's so great to work with this is a great yeah. area yeah emerald coast has emerald coast has a great marketing team <laughs> just just they do. just and it, it's not oh, yeah. just it's not just her it's just in general like i think it has something to do with the people that are here we love it so much yeah. it's such oh, it's a, a great be- it's the best it's, beach in the freaking world oh, better than oh yeah anywhere. i would like, agree with been that around, i've that. been around the, the world i would agree with that i would agree with sand i would agree with that it's a great spot and 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 when you talk about the metropolises that are around us that can get to us for vacation, it's yep. just insane. Mm-hmm. And so we've just got – I mean, we're, we're very fortunate to live where we live. I think they've done a great job, too, of protecting it. So when you yep. go down through Destin all the way then, you know, even to Panama City, for instance, I mean, you've got some high rises, but, yeah. you know, 30A has kept it low. You've Which got is some, why I love it's it. Just, it's just yeah. such a great spot to where we've kept things so – uh, uh, natural and, mm-hmm. and 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 it feels that way. Even I run into people all the time, whether it's cigars or, or Bijou or yep. or places like. Shout that out to Jack McGuckin. He oh, does Jack's, great work. Jack's dude, great Jack's great. Jack's yeah, great. Is, great, uh, yeah, great. Yeah, awesome sure. dude. But you know, you got all these people there that you run into folks all the time that are like, well, I'm, you know, you sit at a bar and you talk to somebody and they say, well, I'm from you know Mobile or I'm from wherever. Yeah. But those bartenders and those chefs know even the transients. Oh yeah, you know, that are yeah. coming back through. Yeah, yeah. You know, and it's and it yeah, makes I mean, it feel I'm, like a local town, even for the transit. You see, like their it evolution does. too, yeah. because they start yeah. as like a transient. Yeah. Guest they here. move here, yeah. and then All they're like, they move oh, here. I heard Every the best thing they said that you move here for the beach, but you live here for the bay. Ah, uh, no, you're right. It's so Very true. good. Very yeah. good. That's and I'm just like, dude, it's so cool to see the so true. Not conversion, but like. You know, you, because I mean, now, well, I didn't want to live on 30A. I live on the bay. Yeah, I wanted to be where. Yeah, you know, the well, it's a heck of a lot like cheaper. See. There is a spot in 30A, like dude. <laughs> I don't yeah. know, man. I like something. Well, the coastal 30A. dune lake areas, like Gray yeah. Beach. Yep. Oh, Gray yeah. Beach. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you, if spot, I was to ever dude. open my own restaurant, which again, yeah. there's talk of it. Yeah, Alice Beach. Yeah. Oh yeah. Alice yeah. Beach Alice is, is pretty good. Beautiful. Alice Beach Strong. is dope. Alice it's beautiful. cool and it's super chic. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I've ever know about this area. There's a lot of little beaches. But we're kind of on a peninsula slash island, and yeah. we have the. They don't call it we, an island, but you do have to get, get to this to by a bridge. On a bridge. By a bridge, you can't get there three anyway. sides bridge. Yep, it is a barrier. But we got island, the Choctawatchee yeah. Bay on one side, yeah. and the Gulf of Mexico on another. 
Yeah. So the Gulf, everybody knows about the Gulf, Mexico, but nobody Choctaw knows about Hachi the Bay, Bay, man. Your local, that the Bay. Bay, the Bay's where you want to be. Yeah, it's so pretty, it, it's pretty it's solid great. spot. Yeah. Yeah. And Choctahatchee so is a Indian name. It is. It is. From the Choctaw Indian, Indian, Indian name. name. Choctaw Indians. Yes. Choctaw That's right. Indians is a high, local high school. That's right. Yep. That's right. So uh, I want to kind of, we're getting towards the end of this, but young people out there listening, what would you tell them they should do if they want to get into the culinary world? I mean, you um, came up through hard knocks. You're talking about hard prep, knocks, sta- man. Pre- pre- prep station. Yep. And not everybody cutting wants fingers, to see you succeed. Cutting fingers off. Yeah, you no, got no, no, no. started the prep station. Oh, that's where you oh come prep on. Your, your, your mother helped you get in there. She got me in the door, but. But that's going to give you a little bit of a connotation it, to a degree. Huge. So you're having to fight against huge. that. Oh yeah, for, yeah. for eight years. I can that's, imagine. That's that's a, that's, just that's going to give you humility. That's going to give you humility. Yeah, you're yeah. going to have to fight against that. But yep. yeah, you you talk about hard knocks. Hard knocks, yeah. and you got to want it, man. And mm. you lost a finger. Uh, yeah, part of it. Yeah. Here's the thing, too. I mean, yeah. being a chef, especially being in a fine dining, um, my key word that I tell every guy is sacrifice. Yeah. What are you willing to sacrifice? Sacrifice. Come on. What People do don't want to, want to do it nowadays. Here, and here's cause the thing. and effect, right? Well, because we live in an area where we live in an area. Instant. We live well, in a world. Instant. In a world, yeah. especially yeah. post COVID. Yeah. Instant. It's like I want this. Gotta have it. Yeah. yeah. Amazon, dude. It's it's t- swipe right. Yep. Express shipping. <laughs> be at my doorstep day. tomorrow by noon. Yeah. Okay. If you're in a major city, you'd have it drop by. And drone. so, like, I think yeah. the landscape of like so like the like the s- kids that are coming up, it doesn't cater to like yeah. consistent or elongated hard work. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And so like and I've had kids come to me and I know them and they're like, what, what, what's your advice? I'm just like, don't. Because mm. here's the thing. Um, and this is just I mean, I've sacrificed so much. That, I mean, you know, I'm divorced. Right. Mm. And I mean, I so I have uh, the marriage got sacrificed as a byproduct of the restaurant. Mm. And and you have to be able to live with that. Right. Yeah. That carries a weight. Yeah. And, you know, that. and you and here's the thing that, you know, I was always told you got one shot. You get one shot at life, right? There's no yeah. do-overs. There's no do-overs. Yeah. And so, like, if you're going to put a stint of time, eight or nine years more, to to see if it's going to work, you gotta you gotta want it. You gotta, you know, want it. and you, you have to sacrifice. You and here's the thing too: you have to build a muscle for failure. Yeah, yeah, oh, you yeah. do. Yeah, you do. You can't, you can't yeah, like you just. In my, we're talking micro failures, like yeah. being late or having your boss not think you did this or like a dish because this as creatives or I'll say culinarians or chefs be, you you're there's a level of vulnerability that we are constantly exposed because I could give you a dish and you could say ah it sucks yeah and then like I have to go back and I mean now I'm fine with it but yeah. like coming up in the ranks but on the flip side of that if you have somebody that's like oh well this dish is the best dish I've ever tasted immediately you're on top of the world right yeah. And so there's a level of volatility, right? Mental volatility within the culinary world, especially like the, 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 the chef side of it, you know, cause you start out like you, a lot of people like want the jacket and are like, yeah, I'm a chef now, but being a chef is for me, like a requisite to be a chef is to be a good cook. Yeah. But being a chef is like not pairing wines. I mean, it is, it's part of the job scope, right. but is mentorship. Mentorship. Yeah. yeah. Well, do you think, and, and do you think, though, when you say in sacrifice and you're talking about things you've sacrificed, but do you think that if you were to go back and talk to that, you know, younger guy starting on the line, is there a way to get him to balance life better? Could you have, could you have had it both? Could no. you have figured out? You don't think so? You had to go so hard in on uh, it. I, here's the thing. Like, and I, again, the bear is big right now. Yeah. You know, the TV yeah, yeah, show, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. It's it's accurate, man. Yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, that's the real, that that's the extreme raw. side of it. Raw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You very know, raw, throwing very, pants. In, I in a metro, this, <laughs> in a metro this, station. Here. Yeah, yeah. And that's a, that's a certain type of leadership that works. Yeah. yeah. It's, I don't think it's the kitchen, kind of kitchen that I want. Yeah. I mean, I want calm, yeah. collective, Price. kind, you know, respective. Interesting, too, that the bear did your tattoo. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out. I knew circle. we all live in a matrix. There. Full circle. <laughs> but so here's the thing. Like if I, if, and I had asked myself this a couple days ago, mm. if n- me, like now me goes back to mm-hmm. when I first started and I'm like, Hey man, so you're going to have the most heartache you've ever had. Yeah. You're going to get the less sleep you've ever had. Yeah. I don't 
I don't do. I don't know if I could honestly sit up here and say, yeah, I do it again. I'll sign up for it yeah. because I didn't know if I wanted it bad. Yeah. Enough. You know, mm-hmm. like I didn't like some guys grab. Well, you took a path less the road, less traveled too. Sure. Not everybody gets to the executive chef of it. Yeah. AAA, you got, you went, a, <laughs> uh, yeah. You unconventional. Know, route. I'm very unconventional route. Very I mean, unconventional. to where, to where yeah. the seat of the <coughs> chef is for that restaurant now is a 15, maybe 20 year. Yeah. Yes. No kidding. Yeah. Yes. And we did it in yes. six and a half. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you, now you sacrificed a lot to get there. A ton. Yeah. And mm-hmm. look, man, there's nights where when all this magazine, like I remember when, and again, candid moment. Yeah. Go ahead. No, well, you know, the, I guess I'm just piggybacking on it a little bit because you now though, six years ago, did you have the five guys? Did you have the text? Did you have yeah. these guys? So you had all those? Yeah. You had Dude, all that there, too? You it? asked if I were to put them on the phone right now. When I, my first weekend at the restaurant, I, dude, I thought I was Thomas Keller. I'm like, I'm, I'm No, no, no. It. Pre-chef. <laughs> pre-chef. You're a prep cook. Right. You're a prep cook, though. You're, huh? pre- you're prep cook. Did you have prep cook? You're prep cooking onions. You're prep cook. You're prep Did prep I have cook. these guys? Did you have these yeah. guys? Yes. You had them? Then? I had them when they knew uh, me as the piano player. That's great. Nice. They stayed with right. Us. Dude, these guys... And I remember the That's first great. week at my restaurant, or the restaurant, not my restaurant, Frank Plotz restaurant. So but you I remember, had some grounding. I had some grounding, but we were all young. Uh, right? True. Phil Poundstone started vacays, and I remember it was a beach or a bike rental company that mm-hmm. he, we were at softball, load the four bikes he had. He's grown it into this conglomerate. Now yeah. he just built and I think sold the largest house in Rosemary Beach. That's awesome. So we've all grown, and yeah. Vic is part, is the regional youth pastor of Destiny Worship That's Center. Great. Johnny is just, I mean, he's got his own company. Jordan has his own church. Yeah. And I also, it's cool to look at the dynamic and how it's grown, but we were all young. Yeah. You know, yeah. and I think, I don't, I don't know, man. Like, I, I don't think I would have done it because it, there are nights after, like, even the Destin charity thing, mm-hmm. which I think for Destin or the area is, you know, it's you get up on stage, you know? you're the charity thing, you're the nominated chef, and that's great. And you get on the magazine covers. But kind of going what I was back to saying before, it's not enough to sustain you, right? So, but but I go back, you know, I go home to a very quiet house, <laughs> you know, that I live by myself. I own my own home, and I'm like, I don't, and I think a lot because I'm a I'm a very like cerebral person. I'm deep yeah. when it, and I'm like, I constantly ask myself, is all this like worth it? Yeah, you know, and. But you're finding some balance through your success. So it sounds yeah, like it is. I you think are the finding, more there was time, time where you had to sacrifice and there's time. You, you, well, I think there's seasons of life. Season, right? Well, yeah, mm. they're 100 percent. There's seasons of life. Right. Mm. And I think like when Brilliant. I go, I, when I think I go to open my own restaurant, it's going to go back on the other side Might. of the scale again. Yeah, yeah it's going to yeah. have to because yeah. the next concept that I'm a part of will chase after Michelin. Mm. And that will take everything. Now, have I we ever had have we ever had that here? No. We've never had that on there. That's effort. Time. That's a yeah. lot of effort. No. That's insane. I feel like Alice yeah. Beach would be the place to do it. Yeah. I so it would it. pop yeah. off at. Yeah. 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 It would be a perfect place to yeah. do it. I'm going to. Mm-hmm. And now, now, let's see. It is time for, on that note. Juice. Juice. Oh, juice. Where are you? We're waiting patiently for what you do. <laughs> This is a perfect. I cannot believe I pulled this double card. Oh, come on. All right. What did you regularly eat as a kid that you wouldn't touch now? Boogers. 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 I know. I feel like if you ate it as a kid. <laughs> Brandon, Brandon's Brandon's Brandon boogers. If you, if you eat it as a kid, I feel like you're gonna eat it always. Oh you know? no, no boogers! Uh, oh, my parents I mean, are gonna kill me for there's this. There's a hard stop on know. boogers. Okay, well, yeah, obviously boogers is one of the answers. Correct. Hard stop. I'm gonna I go with tell that. you when I was in college, I used to drink. We used to man, we would go for the, the six six ninety nine like Milwaukee's best. Beast. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, or so you going beers? Light, okay. And I, I will not do mm-hmm. either one of those anymore. That's strong. This says eat, strawberry. You got to eat. Yeah. It says I know. Food. It said eat. Um, I just chose a different topic for a second. No, no, no. You can't but I will go that. back to eat. I don't know if I if if it's eating. I mean, I wouldn't eat baby um, food. I wouldn't even baby food. It's it's, it's I've boring. actually been eating it because, you know, I got a one-year-old, and it's pretty good. It's no boring. sugar in it, so yeah. it's, you know, it's but I bland. see what you're saying. Well, you it's bland. It's bland because their bland, taste buds aren't Which is good. There, so, or maybe they are Well, there. no, they, they don't have, have all the so pers- It's all do, natural. We can talk about this for an hour. This nah, one question, yeah, that's how yeah. goofy we are. Um, no, that's great. And here's the thing. 
I, this I'm gonna I'm gonna admit this, and there's Uh-oh. probably four people on the planet that know this. <laughs> and now there's eleven thousand six hundred. <laughs> four point two million. Um, I used to eat talcum powder. I've heard of this. Oh, really? Yeah. Was it the consistency? Dude, it was so good. It's a consistency. Here, it's talcum right? powder. But you wouldn't then, eat that now, right? And then baby powder. I fight the urge. Probably. <laughs> I mean, probably. <laughs> if I'm in a pinch. <laughs> uh, like, I have never done like, now. Baby powder out. is great. Yeah, I don't. Uh, great. Right. Banned deodorant I used to eat as a kid. Oh, what? my. Yeah. You're talking about the powder. Jesus. That, you know, like, the, something making sense. And then when they came out with the this gel is why, this shaving is why, cream. By the way, the Barbasol. No you way. Yes. No way. Was yes. it the, t- the smell of it? Oh, Was it the man, smell? The aromatics were just so clean. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I love it. I you know, the, 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 uh, blank here. Oh, my gosh. So I think that's why your mom originally was like, no, you're not coming into cigars. <laughs> she <laughs> knew you ate down the belt. <laughs> With, no man, with a shaving it. cream chaser. You do, I do like when I go to like Publix chaser. and and I'm like, you know, I got to pick up this that and the other. And I'll take a stroll down memory lane. And <laughs> that's take a, hilarious. Just get a, bump, just get a little, little bump. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just take, oh my goodness, just that's a li- picture of it. That's just a little a, bump. That's hilarious. Yeah. I, I don't know. I mean, uh, you know, baby food is is there for sure. I I, I feel like. Um, I don't know. As a kid, I don't know. There's. I'm gonna go Doritos I'm because I've seen love, too many damn Instagram oh, yeah. videos these days. Of you quit eating Doritos? Bad Doritos. I love yeah. Doritos. Well, and we all know they're bad for you, but they're pretty good. Yeah, chicken nuggets. What? For sure. Yeah. Well, I still, I still like the good nugget you, though. And I, I don't know if it, like the Arby's. I used to do. Well, at least they call it an Arb Cooterie board. Arb. Oh, oh they're, they're, they're yeah, like charcuterie, yeah. but Arb yeah. Cooter. You go to Arb. Yeah. You Arb Cooter. You go to Arby's and you get a little something of everything. Of everything. And then yeah. I've, they came out. My buddy, I guess I don't know if he was, you know, telling me, you know, BS. But he said that the roast beef would come in a number ten can liquid, and they would put it on a shaker. <laughs> yeah, and it would solidify, and then that's how they would cut it. Yeah, I, don't I don't know, know if that's to be true or gelatin. not, but yeah, know. I feel like any fast food meat. Kind it's of. not real food, but it's quick. Does anybody eat fast yeah. food here? Yeah, not uh, on purpose. Uh, I pretty I much don't. don't Chick Fil A. Chick Fil A would be Chick Fil A. not fast food. Yeah, it's yeah. yeah. Chick Fil A for sure. Yeah. Jesus Chicken, it's, baby. It's, it's yeah. Good, it's yeah. Good it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, occasionally though, I do what like burgers, a what a burger. Yeah, what a burger. What a burger. What a burger. Breakfast. That is one is with a the jam. jalapenos on it is really good. That's the taquitos all the time. But that's that's about it. My mother took me to that what a burger. Culvers, Culvers. Culvers actually pretty good. Eat. I didn't eat the ham. I still yet to have the hamburger just because I'm, I'm 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 concerned it's pretty about good. the like butter battered yeah. bread deal yeah. you know it's good. I had the custard which was almost too it's rich thick. for me it's thick. It's thick. I'm not a big on custard I'm just I'm, ah, it's too much that, that might be an unpopular opinion I'm just not in on custard yeah. I, rather, kind of I, I don't think I've had the custard Midwest thing you gotta yeah. like it I know. you gotta like it or not you gotta like right? it yeah yeah that's crazy well, yeah, uh, Chef Fleetwood, uh, it has been oh, dude, an been, honor to awesome. have you on. Yeah. And it's been so much yeah. fun. I think that our audience will get so much out of this. So I, yeah. I hope I hope they did. And, and um, man, what a pleasure. And if Pleasure's you want to find yeah. Chef Fleetwood Covington the Third, he will not be on a yacht in Monaco. This <laughs> not, time. Today. Not, not today. Not today. But he will be at Seagars. So check him out at Seagars. That's S-E-A-G-A-R-S dot com. Seagars. you got to check it out. It's the best, the hottest spot on the Emerald Coast yeah. for their steaks. We love it. It's uh, great. For, for fish, yeah. for uh, seafood, but honestly, it's for service. Customer it's service. the people. You got to go for the people. Tell them all that uh, JB said, hey, for sure. So this is our pot. This is this is the <laughs> part of part of the. They'll know. They'll know. They'll know. No, no. They'll take care. Yes, of sir, you. I'm gonna have to ask they'll you to leave. <laughs> they'll take care of you. They'll take care of you. There, I promise. Uh, but listen up, kids. Perfection is something that you should strive for, but realize you will never obtain. That is okay. The journey is what makes you. The commitment is what sustains you in reaching goals and creating new ones, hitting those, and starting over is what can provide the sense of accomplishment. One of the great poets of the 20th century may have written it best, and he wrote it in the book called Oh, the Places You'll Go. Oh, the places you'll go, you'll be on your way up. You'll be seeing great sights. You'll join the high flyers who soar to high heights. You won't lag behind because you'll have the speed. You'll pass the whole gang, and you'll soon take the lead. Wherever you go, wherever you fly, you'll be the best of the best. Wherever you go, you will top all the rest, except when you don't, because sometimes you won't. You'll get get mixed up, of course, 
as you already know, you'll get mixed up with strained birds as you go. So be sure when you step, step with great care and great tact. And remember that life's a great balancing act. Just never forget to be dexterous or deaf. And never mix up your right foot with your left and you will succeed yes you will indeed 98 and three quarter percent guaranteed <laughs> kid you'll move mountains but hey what the hell do i know you've been listening to what the hell do i know with jb jb has worn quite a few hats ceo venture investor accidental pastor of a downtown atlanta church board member passive investor and occasional public speaker JB's passion with his show is sharing the good, the bad, and the downright absurd. Life's a mixture, right? JB has picked up some real gems along this journey. Lessons from the business world, the chaos of parenting, and the surprises of accidental leadership. We hope you've enjoyed the show. If you did, make sure to like, rate, and review. And we'll be back soon. But in the meantime, find Jason on Instagram at underscore Jason underscore Becker. Y'all be cool, and we'll see you next time.